Guys Podcast. This is Davis. And Vinny. This is uh, Fat Ass Sean O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> and today we have a very special guest, the legendary Sean Gannett. Hi, guys. He, uh, hey, Sean. I like the fact that you're playing that loud mu- intro music, and Davis is like, it's so loud, and you just you have tattoos and shit on <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you doing? I was scared of it. <laughs> <laughs> guys, it's really aggressive. <laughs> Some carpenters or something. Whoa! <laughs> Sean has a, he's a longtime funny bone legend. He's also known lately for his informative videos on YouTube, how to videos. How to and just uh, shenanigans videos. Yeah. And we've Legendary. Been, wow. That's weird. Yeah. Well, we've been talking about you on the podcast off and on uh, for many episodes. You know, nice. you get brought up here, you get brought up there. We'll get, you know, other comics coming through and, and, you know, you, you know, just good, bad, whatever, yeah. you know, smart Stories. ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just, you know, I a fucking chunk of that. Yeah. Yeah. Sean's on the bad side. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I feel like I've heard about you so much that I know you very well, but I really don't. I've only met you a few times. Yeah. And usually you're here with Sean O'Brien. You guys yeah. are around. Oh, my God. Punching dicks and shit. Uh, <laughs> so that's all. I don't yeah. really get to talk to you because I don't want to get hit in the fucking. <laughs> 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 you got to get in that dick game, bro. <laughs> Punch a dick and join us. Uh, <laughs> it is. It's a lot of. Yeah, I, every time I come here, it's like I'm just a kid again. It's a boy, a little 15 year old boy, dicks and farts, and <laughs> you guys are all like that. You're like, yeah, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> well, and I mean, fuck, you lived here forever. I mean, you grew up here, so you no, were kind of here no. when you were a little immature, weren't no, you? No, no, I, 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 I mean, not I grew up, coming, grew up, but I, I've been, been, yeah, I've yeah, been yeah. coming here since June of '97, uh, yeah. but I lived here for two years from 2001 to 2003, and then then I lived, then I moved to LA, and then I moved back. Well, because my girlfriend at the time, my wife, yeah, uh, was my girlfriend at the time. We uh, we lived in Columbus for like almost a year. Well, but you used to live on the fucking couch of the condo, right? Yeah, well, that's back when I lived here. In the old, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> see, I thought you lived here a lot longer than that when you're at the old club. No, 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 no. I, I it was just uh, it was from 2001 to. 2003 it was the old comedy condo ah, couch yeah see, i thought you had been here longer than no it's just I, I i people feel that way I, <laughs> people like this yeah like on stage tonight i only did like uh 10 minutes but people were like man you did like a 45 minute set <laughs> no it was only 10 how did that oh. go i left the room right, right when you got up there so it was fine I, it was fine man you know what though like tonight was so fun to watch because it was the clash of the comics and there's so many good comics like yeah. nobody you know shit the bed or anything and i was you know, hoping for it because it's it, that is, it is fun. I like to lie to people after hey, you had a good set <laughs> and they didn't, but no, everyone was so funny and I was like relieved and they made me bring whatever game I have. They were funnier than you. They were. Thanks, Sean. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you guys are drinking and I'm not doing anything. So now you guys are abrasive and in my face. <laughs> yeah, usually we like to just put the guest on stage. And so we're just, you know, yeah. show you off to everybody. I, I understand. <laughs> So I guess uh, I have a question. Was, how did you get into comedy, and uh, what was your first year, I guess, doing comedy for the Funny Bone? Well, like I, I'm from Cleveland originally, and I was a oh, doorman at the, at the Cleveland Improv. Oh, really? Yeah. And I was, I was a doorman there like in 97 maybe. And, uh, and, 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 but they weren't putting up anybody. Like, like – at the time in Cleveland, like there's, I don't know, like, like they, they already had the comics, all the comics they needed. So I, I knew I had to get out of that city. And um, I lied and said I had 15, just like today, lied and said I had 15 <laughs> minutes. And uh, I was sending, uh, uh, back then you sent out VHS tapes. And um, for my promo kit, I would, I, would, uh, put a, I would stuff a VHS tape, my resume and a headshot into this milk carton. And on the side of milk carton, I had another picture of me. It said, have you seen this man? Well, maybe you should book him. And I like it. That's yeah. nice. super clever, dude. Yeah. That's awesome. That one Colleen over in here. That's, that's awesome. She was like, that's the best promo I've ever seen. And usually people with really good promos suck as comics because they have to like, <laughs> they know it, you know, as, but so that's what I did kind of, but, but I don't know, like she just took a liking to me and um, I kind of, I was starting to come here and live in Cleveland and. And, uh, and then like, uh, I think in 2000 or something, I was like, I got to get out of this city. And I, I moved here. She offered me to the house MC role role. 
position. I don't know what the hell I'm talking spot. about. Spot. But yeah, spot. And uh, I, I took that, and that's where I really grew. Man, I, I was, and I was living at the condo for two years <laughs> on a couch. And, uh, but, but I always thought like Omaha is where I went to, I didn't go to college. I'm a high school dropout. And I always <laughs> felt like, but Omaha was like, this is where I, like, I learned ev everything. It was like where I went to college. My wife is from here. Fucking, you know, friends. Like, I've known, like, like I, people who came up, came out tonight to watch shows I've known for 20-some years. And we're just telling old stories. Like, oh, I forgot, you know. I forgot you had sex with that person. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm not saying any names. I almost did. <laughs> you put something in somebody and I forgot about it. But like, you know, like just all these stories, man, it's just like, it's home. It's a, it's Omaha has always been a home. It always felt like a home. I get protective when I hear other, you know, cities, you know, like in, I'm, I live in LA and people are shit on Omaha. What's well, a bunch of, oh, fuck you, you know? I could say I could say that, but <laughs> I'm kind of like from here, not from here, but yeah, yeah. Well, you lived here. It's you know, in laws are here and shit. I got history here. Well, and you, you know, you grew up with, uh, or you, you were there when with Colleen's sons. You were hanging out with them, and oh my god, you know, watching yeah. them grow up. And, yeah, yeah. But, uh, like, um, yeah. Dan, the, her oldest son, was already in college at Marquette. Martin was in high school when I started coming here. Um, yeah, Martin. We had Martin on the podcast. Yeah, and he yeah. talked about uh, you guys getting together and uh, going uh, out to Standing Bear to smoke weed. And as soon as you would start smoking weed, then yeah. uh, Colleen would call. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is, this is, I'm not lying and I'm not exaggerating what I'm about to tell you. I don't know how Colleen, she, she's mama. For one, she's mama. And she, yeah. mama knows everything. Yeah. She right. knows it before you're going to do it. Yeah. And I'm not exaggerating. There's so many times um, that, uh, like one, one time, I don't know if you guys know Mark Gross at all. He's a really oh, yeah. funny comic, cool. but he always makes me tell him this story. And it's basically, uh, back in the day at the old club, uh, uh, there's a really funny comic named Jason Dixon and uh, love Jason. Yeah. <laughs> Dixon, Such a nice guy. Yeah. Hey, he's, he's very <laughs> Ned Flanders. Hey guys. Yeah, he is. He kind of is. Now you guys got the doorman. I love like him. That's great. <laughs> uh, so like, uh, I was opening Dixon was featuring and the headliner just got on stage. And I remember just, uh, you know, I was at this, uh, the bar right next door that was attached to the club at the time called divots. And, yep. and I, I remember it was like the only time in my comedy career, I'm like, I'm going to try and be better. What worked tonight? What didn't? And, uh, I'm writing my book and Dixon comes over. He goes, Hey, and he shows me his, his weed pipe. It's this weird, dumb wood. He carved it. <laughs> and look what I did. And he's like, uh, he shows me his pipe. He's like, hey, he goes, how about a little smokely dokely? <laughs> That's the Ned Flanders. I'm some That's smokely very dokely. Flanders. And I was yeah. like, you know what? I'm, I'm good. And then he's like, come on. I'm like, okay. That's how committed I was to my career. I was like, all right, I'll smoke some weed with you. <laughs> Clearly. And uh, so he starts uh, like taking off to go to the front of uh, the, the, the bar, like the outside. And I'm like, Hey man, let's, let's go out back. Um, no one will see us <laughs> yeah. smoking weed, especially Colleen. He's like, and Jason Dixon, man, he's got all these theories. Like, I don't know if I you guys him. know this, but like when, whenever we work the road, he'd bring his laptop and he's got like printed out pages of theories, shit that he's been working on. Here's the deal about women and why they do that. Like, you know, <laughs> right next to my recipe of chorizo soup. Do you like chorizo? And like, here's why it's good. And here's why I think it's, she's got all these goddamn theories and recipes. And so like, so he's going, he's, he's walking out to the front to smoke weed. And I'm like, Dixon, let's go out to the back. Um, so no one sees us. And he goes, uh, here's the deal. Like why I like to smoke out. Front. I'm like, let's, all right, fuck it. Let's just go out front. I don't want to hear your goddamn <laughs> theory. Um, Dixon goes out and he's smoking. He's, he's, and he does his thing. And then he hands it to me, the pipe to me. And I'm like, and like this time we're like right in front of like CQ's office, like right in front of the window. <laughs> that's a good spot. Yeah. That's, and he's like openly smoking. I don't care. I think you need to do it and be free. And his smoke's blown out of and his what nostrils. What year was this? This probably would have been, uh, 2001. Jesus. Yeah. So, uh, 2000, 2001. Probably. So he hands me the pipe and I'm like, uh, uh, well, I'm not going to just stand out in front of CQ's office. Right. I'm totally going to get busted. And, uh, so I walked all the way down to, uh, what's that? Uh, Clancy's. Do you remember Clancy's on a yeah. 120th, like where the old club was? Yep. So I like you walk down this long, uh, 
like the driveway there and there's like all these stone pillars and it bends. I'm like, I'm going to go all the way down to Clancy's. Nobody can see me. And I'm hiding behind a pillar. And uh, I, I am not exaggerating. One click of the lighter. And the, and the flame's not even touching the weed. And I hear, Sean! It's CQ. It's Colleen. <laughs> Just her head is like, uh, like, like, like she is, is off the side of the pillar. Just her head screaming at me. What are you doing? Are you smoking weed? And she's <laughs> totally fucked up. I, like, I don't know how she knows these things, uh, uh, but she Man. knows what, what you're doing. She knows, you know, accidents before they're going to happen to her kids. She'll be like, Hey, I, I woke up in the middle of the night and d if you're driving through this town, don't and like she, I, she's connected. She's connected to the source of whatever, is she I, is man yeah, what a buzzkill and she totally is a buzzkill <laughs> <laughs> love you cq oh well definitely it's all out of love but god damn it she used to really just cock block and <laughs> just ruin everything for me by but also giving me life i don't know how she does it she's she, she's got that special power she's mama man you know she, we she, she does talk about it on here all the time huh she just you know, has those powers, those abilities, those, those skills. and Anybody that knows. Like, I remember one other time, uh, it was Valentine's Day. It was uh, everything. All my stories happen at the old club. <laughs> uh, but, like, I was, I was eating it on stage. It was this awful night. And uh, But this this brother and sister after the show, there was one of those, uh, they come up to you like, hey, I thought you were funny, <laughs> which, which you don't want to hear. Hey, I we thought you were funny. <laughs> Nobody else did, but we, the two of us on Valentine's <laughs> thought you were funny. <laughs> Which why you bring your brother and sister, and sister on? Like, yeah, I know. That's yeah, I was always that and I didn't want to say anything because they're the only two people that liked me. Let's <laughs> not alienate everybody. Uh, but they're like, uh, hey, uh, you know, we know you smoke. We we heard you on Todd and Tyler. And we've hey, come out. We got some really good weed. I got a brand new pipe. And usually I never did that with like audience members, but it, the right. show was so bad. <laughs> that I was like, you know, fuck it. I, I all right, I, I'll go out with and uh we go out in the parking lot. It's dark. Oh, not only that, the only another reason why I went is because CQ was out of the city. She was out of the city. She was out of state oh. of Omaha or of Nebraska. She was like gone. So I'm like, oh, I'm safe. I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll get high with these people. And uh, you know, this guy unwraps his pipe. And and at the time, this is before. This is like they had some really good weed, which is real skunky. I'm like, man, this is some good. <laughs> Puts it in this nice new pipe. He's like, hey, you get the first honors. I'm like, wow, you guys are so nice. And um, glass pipe up to my lips. Again, one click of the lighter. Flame not even touching weed. Knocking on the window is CQ. <laughs> no, oh, no Knocking way. on the fucking window of the stranger's car. Hi, hope you're having a good time. And then just, she just walks away. <laughs> no shit. Which is the worst thing and ever. I'm just oh, like, yeah. My finger, my thumb's burning because I forgot they were, the flame was still active. And uh, I'm like, I got to go, guys. And I handed them their new pipe and weed. I'm like, I'm in trouble. It's the weirdest thing. I She flew home early or some shit. I don't know, but... And she flew home early because she knew I might have wanted to enjoy some weed. Yeah, I guess. Can't have that happen, I guess. That is super crazy. Yes, out of state. And she's knocking on the window. Hope you're having a good time. You know when someone looks at you and their, their eyes are big, like, hope you're having a good time? They don't hope you're having a good time. They want to, you know, they're raining on your parade. I can hear I can hear her saying, I can visualize this, and I wasn't even fucking there. Oh, man. Sure. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> like, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> man, and th th the thing is, it's not just me with these stories. Every comic that has, has come through here since the early night or late 80s, actually, that know her, that we all have the same story. Yeah, she busted me. I was gonna, I was, I was gonna bang the waitress, but they're CQ already in the condo. Hey guys, gonna do anything tonight? You know. Still to this day, when uh, Josh Blue comes in town, she informs all the staff that we're not allowed to smoke weed with him on the patio. Really? <laughs> wow. Why's that? Uh, it, she doesn't want to smoke him with the comics. Sure. Okay. And uh, she would say it's illegal here. In yeah. Nebraska, sure. So. Yeah. I mean, oh, that's right. I forget. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's so We're dumb. The, yeah, it's so dumb. It's so I forget. Like I, I live makes in LA. Me so and, mad. I live in LA and I don't even think about it anymore. Like it's, it's just weird that like, like, and I'm from Ohio and it's not legal there. So like when I go back to Ohio, I'm like, it's just it's barbaric laws. It's weed. 
I go f- visit my brother out in Colorado, and oh. the first few times I went into a dispensary, I came out and I was like, "This is a fucking trick." <laughs> like, Dude, around, I was the like, same way. I don't know. I don't. Yes. Cops. The first <laughs> time I, the first time I went to a dispensary, I'm like, "We're gonna get raided. Yeah. <laughs> there should be weed in a vending machine. What's going on?" It's weird. Like, still, like old heads. Like, uh, like I was in an improv troupe in LA, like the, a couple years ago, and. Um, um, like there's a, there's an older guy. We're like roughly the same age. And I, I still do the same thing every once in a while. I'm like, I ask somebody, I'm like, uh, and, and I ask him in a hushed, in a hushed voice, like, Hey, you smoke, right? Like, you know, like, like it's, you know, we can't let this out. Right, right, right. Hey, hey you smoke, right? <laughs> hey, you're holding, right? S- yeah. Uh, cigarettes? Yeah. Or we- <laughs> yeah. It's so Dave's weird. Dave's not here, man. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just weird. Like, like to, to, I have to revert back to that when I come here. I'm like, it's, it's illegal here. You can get the uh, here in Omaha. You can get that Delta Eight. What's that? It 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 is another. It's fake weed. Well, it's not fake weed. <laughs> it's, oh, is it like a? It's hemp, and it's just a different strain of THC. So, so it's like a weaker version of it. Yeah, it's like o- the O'Doul's of weed, As, right? Yes, but it 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 does give you a buzz. Really? It, yeah. It, I mean, it's like not. How much do you have to smoke though? Not or, very much. Or an edible wise. Wow. No. I, I won't try it. I'm a, I'm full leaded weed. <laughs> yeah, I, right. Yeah. I, don't get me wrong. I I would no. We're gonna get to, you wrong right now. I, no, fuck <laughs> Sorry. you. Sorry. I would I would prefer to have the Delta Nine that you guys get in California and Colorado and stuff like that. But I'm gonna use what I can, you know, or what I can get oh, easily yeah, yeah, accessible. Yeah, 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 yeah. Stores here. You can walk in. You can buy flour. You can buy yeah, concentrates. You can buy tinctures. You can buy edibles. Wow. I mean, I still can't figure out edibles. I'm so deathly afraid. Like I've eaten half a brownie and my eyes are popping out of my head. And I'm an experienced head too. Like I'm an right. experienced weed. Like I, you know, I smoke every day. But uh, Dude, I would smoke weed with you. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you say that in the mic creepier and lean in? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I would smoke weed with you. I'm hit or miss on edibles. Like some I'll eat and they don't do any. I could eat like 10 of them. They don't do anything. Yeah, that's some why I'll it's, eat a couple and then I'll be like, holy fuck. Like, yeah, where am I? <laughs> right. That's why it's just, there's so, you know. I don't uh, think they really know how to measure it, even right. though they put the stickers on right. there. They don't really know what no, the fuck's no. in it. Because what if it's at the bottom of the fucking the tray yeah. of brownies, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, they're just so all, unpredictable and inconsistent that I just stick with flour. I, I try to, too. I, my brother uh, had tried, you know, uh, like dabs and the concentrates like that. So I've tried that, but it's just, it's too crazy. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's too crazy. I'm all, I'm just flour joints. Yeah. Dude, my, my favorite when I go to Colorado, I buy the sodas. Those oh, are, yeah. those are very good. Yeah. Like get a grape soda, oh, yeah. man. Just fucks you yeah, up. It does. Yeah. yeah. You can get diabetes and memory loss. At the <laughs> yeah. <same time. laughs> I know that's the thing with those. Like, and you know, all the, also like the brownie edibles and they're never good. Like I don't like weed and chocolate. It tastes like ass, yeah. but you know, It'll fuck you up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the weed talk. Yeah. yeah. Well, you don't smoke, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I yeah. don't. So it doesn't. Yeah. And we'll forget that we talked about it. And we'll bring it up again. Hey, you guys smoke, right? <laughs> Every time, right when we're done with this podcast, I completely black out. I have no idea what I talked about. And then for a week, I'm just walking around being like, fuck, did I talk shit about this person? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that that's person. every podcast for me. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, yeah. Usually you're fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd be less inhibited. Be fun on radio or the podcast sorry it's oh, not yeah. radio you're not radio stop pretending you're radio we're not radio no one even said that, that. I, I just brought up i manufactured <laughs> we, we want to be radio we're <laughs> we're 99 23 i love the, 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 the hit concept. station i love the concept of your your show though the door guys pot like it's i like i like titles that you're like i know what this is yeah, right, yeah. like it's it's there's great. no question about what right, it is yeah, and what yeah. we do yeah <laughs> door guys here's our podcast you figure that you know there's gonna be comics and shit i love it yeah I've never listened stories. to it, but I love it, guys. I <laughs> well, really you're going to now, it. motherfucker. <laughs> now i got to listen to me. I've never watched your YouTube videos. I haven't either. So we have that in common. I don't, I don't watch them either. They're, they're long and boring. You mentioned uh, being house MC uh, at the other club. We don't have that anymore. So uh, I'm sure that helped you grow as a comic. Dude. Because w- were you MC for every show they had there? Is that pretty that much? Meant, yeah? yeah, like I saw. Yeah, I got to work with everybody. Like, 
everybody and hey all Sean the, yeah Wait, what? who's that Sean who's that you guys hear that feedback the fuck what is, that? is that what is that Sean this is God uh, I know who that voice is I know who that voice is <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Talking about the old club. I know. Why does wow. it smell like sex in here? Oh my god! <laughs> Who put a beard on a meatball? Hey, listen, listen. That's your mic. Oh, this is my mic. Going to you? Yeah, yeah. Listen, just tell your wife to stop making me a sandwich every time I fuck her. Okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to those people just listening, uh, door <laughs> up here, Dan. Dan right McGann, there? Oh, shit. Yeah, we got Dan McGann. Dan McGann, the old Sitting door real guy. close together. Former guest. Yeah. Chris, Chris, <laughs> is that Chris Crinkle or Chris Kankle? <laughs> <laughs> Chris Kankle. <laughs> all right. Oh, now the stories here, are going to come out. This is the oh, yeah. guy who's seen it all. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. That's why we sat him real close That's to you awesome. guys so you guys can touch on each other. I'm, uh, how you doing, brother? Good. We're just well, talking about how CQ, back in the day, just knows everything. Like, well, yeah, immediately. Yeah, immediately before you did it. Yeah, yeah. Those guys got some stories. Hey, let's tell some stories. No. Yeah. Uh, hey, everybody. Dan McGahey's here, and I got some stories. <laughs> He's married and has kids. I, only told, and I have stories. <laughs> I only told one story with you, Sean. I'm that not was, telling any stories. That was, did, did you did you listen to my podcast when I was on my episode? I no, he it. just said he hasn't listened because he's I did a dickhead. It. I'm a dick. I. I, I should listen. <laughs> hey, uh, would you want me to lie to you? Yeah. And then you, uh, well, what was it? You know, what was, what episode yeah. did you guys what listen What did we talk about? Is this cold? Oh, yeah, that's oh, for I'm you. I'm taking that shit. Yeah, way to do thirst. visual <laughs> gimmicks on a podcast. Is this cold? No one knows what you're doing. That went well, over well. Sorry. We, we have video. video liquid death. Dumbass. <laughs> yeah, we're on YouTube. I heard you do some YouTube stuff these days. Oh, okay. So what were you going to? Oh, no, the only story I told was the... Uh, 49er one. Oh my God, with uh, McKenzie? Yeah. <laughs> I got <laughs> drunk, right? For those. Were the next day. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Let's yeah, give yeah. a little recap of that story. Yeah. No. So we went to. Yeah, go ahead. 49er? Yeah. That was, yeah, that old Jangle boy. Pop. Is that the lady with brain damage? No, that's another story. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's another story. going to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, they won't. It's their show. Yeah. They have to be oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> no, we went to this, go see uh, my buddy Rob's uh, band called Jangle Pop at the 49er, and I, I, I guess I was just drinking everything. Everything. And <laughs> I, 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 man, I, I, I remember being lifted. Did, were you guys like, oh, no, you carried me out. Yeah. Well, yeah, just I was so. That was drunk. the only way you were getting out. Yeah, and I remember uh, you threw me in the back of your pickup truck, and yep. there's like broken glass and shit back yep. there, and <laughs> do milk bone dog biscuits. Yeah, it's, there may have been. Few and of those. Uh, <laughs> so he just throws you me in the back. Every and, bit of this. I I, I agree. Okay. Uh, throws me in the back, and then uh, takes me back to the condo. But he's making all these wild turns, so I'm just rolling. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah, it was very true, and like I've got like glass and shit stuck to my skin, and. You know, rappers, and I, I feel like I'm going to vomit. Jay-Z <laughs> was in the back of my truck. <laughs> <laughs> so we get to the what condo. What was he doing in Omaha? Yeah. We get, we get, uh, we get, out, get out of the uh, <laughs> the truck, and uh, these guys, it was, him, it was my guy here, and uh, this other guy named Mike, Mike McKenzie. Mike McKenzie, who was like a bodybuilder. Like, I had a great body. He's, that's, he, he's like a <laughs> perfectly sculpted. He was one of those dudes. You're like, oh, that's so he was great. doing a good job bodybuilding. Yes, he's a really good at it. And um, uh, I remember uh, we're at the, the the door to get into the condo, and I'm I'm talking shit because I'm drunk. And uh, I think I I called Mike McKenzie. I was like, "You look like a light bulb." Oh, I remember that. He was not happy about that. That's <laughs> right. Like, which I didn't know. He didn't really yeah. didn't like it. But I remember he punched me in my chest and went flying into the like. Oh. Rose bushes. Yeah, I remember <laughs> oh, that. Oh shit! Now. I remember that. And then yeah. the next morning, I had to get up and uh, pick Jim Brewer up from the airport. <laughs> we rode on him. Well, yeah, I didn't know that you guys rode on me and drew dicks on me. <laughs> and, we did uh, draw dicks on you. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! I may have gosh. drew a few myself on myself. Yeah. <laughs> I had to go pick up Brewer, and um, you took him to the zoo, didn't you? I don't remember. <laughs> Would you? Okay. You, you don't remember where you took Jim Brewer. I picked him up and I took him to the hotel, but I don't remember going to the zoo. Though. I thought you went to the zoo. No. I thought, okay. Way to fuck up the story. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I pick him up and like on the way back to his hotel, he's like, hey, man, you got something on your arm. <laughs> and I'm like, 
what are you talking about? And I'm, re- re- I'm really hung over. And like, he's just lifting up my shirt and he's laughing his ass off. Brewer was. Brewer was. Oh, and yeah. I went, oh, right. Then I like, when I saw all these like dicks and stuff, like, I remember calling Mike McKenzie a light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> my chest immediately started hurting. All the thorns and prick and the broken glass, it's all like catching up with me. Yeah. You guys were like. That's the only story I told. That's oh, it. wow. That's yeah. a really lame story. It is. That's probably the safest that's one. That's the safest that's one. The, yeah, yeah, sure. That's why he was going got, for safety. I got yeah. you, baby. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I the stories this. we're going to tell after. I absolutely love this man. I, I love. I, I love you too. You said one of the funniest things to me uh, in, at the old club. You're like, "Hey, you going to be funny, or you going to do your set tonight?" <laughs> it's one of the funniest things. Uh, by the way, Carrie says hi, and she told me to be nice to you. Oh, I love her. I know you don't deserve your wife. I don't. You don't. I don't. Because I, I look at you. He's got a hot wife. Great rack. I said it. Yeah. And look at you. <laughs> I know. I got a. Great you got rack. a great rack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I thought it was honestly, Vinny. I thought you were fucking with me out there. I thought you all assholes were all sitting there because I I was waiting outside. I've been waiting outside for like forty five minutes. <laughs> yeah. So I, oh, I, I go to get wait. in the door. <laughs> fucker's locked. I'm nice. like, oh, you cocksuckers. This is something to demand. <laughs> I would, would be let him out <laughs> there. Let him call. Let, him, <laughs> let the guests call into the show. Yeah. <laughs> Caller, where are you calling from? The parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No, we fucking when we left, we were like. All right, we were gonna leave the front door unlocked, but we're like, nah, security. If, if security's still here, and I did see Norm down. walk out the door. Ah, yeah. that's oh yeah, that's the new guy, the real old yeah. guy. We, we <laughs> left the back stop unlocked. Anything. I go, I go. Hey, hey, oh no, no, <laughs> no, no can't even walk not. barely. He can't stop himself from. from, from <laughs> oh my god! I, I said, hey man, how you doing? I go, oh, time to get the hell out of here. I'm like, all right, <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah. So. Yeah, I'm gonna bring this gun up into the club. All right, well, I'm out. <laughs> what? Yeah. So we thought we thought we would uh, leave it uh, unlocked for you, so yeah. you could just come right in. And uh, apparently, he was still here and did. I'm walking there. around like in that little other hallway. And yeah, yeah. There's guys coming from the taco fuzzies going, "Hey, oh, da, 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 da. you know, <laughs> you're, you're really, really bad." Oh, yeah. tamando, we should have Shangan on their translate. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's what I love about these motherfuckers. Like they only remember like some of the first bits I ever wrote when I was new. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh no, you still do that." Yeah, because the new shit's way better. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, humbled. <laughs> I love it. I love being humbled by. I you. loved texting with you the other. You're day one of the day. dudes. Like my guy. Like I always tell. Like my fucking Craig on Todd and Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. But you're like one of the few people like. I never have to worry about like if something big happens to me in Hollywood. Like if I get a big ego, he'll oh, be the first oh, one. He can't wait oh. to like take me down a few pegs. Just and that's what you need. That's what you need to surround yourself right in life. down the yeah. knees. With an maybe asshole? not too many of these people because they're not knees. happy in life. <laughs> so they're like, we got to take something away from you. Well, that means happy. So evidently, I'm really happy, and you don't. Look so, very anyways, happy at all. the, the yeah, you're the only the likelihood one here that doesn't have tits. The <laughs> likelihood <laughs> of that happening is. Zero. No. Yeah, yeah, I fuck. know. If it hasn't happened by now. I'm the skinniest guy here. I'm Shit. surprised. I'm outnumbered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm outweighed here. <laughs> Just by me. Just by <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just a bonus. <laughs> yeah. So, last time... Sean, when I was up here, I was really mean to Sean because he was the Sean that was sure. I, I, You're mean, practicing. Yeah. 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 If I it's was. a Sean, he, he just has to bang yeah. the crack on it. one to me. Yeah. So a lot of my barbs went his way. Yeah. There was <laughs> like fucking dudes everywhere. It was like a lot of the videos you do. <laughs> it's like every high school party I ever went to. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but dudes. But there was. There was like people everywhere and I had problems like figuring out who was talking. So I'm kind of looking around all the time and. But it was I had a lot of I had a lot of fun last time, and I'm really happy that. So I texted Vinny, and I said, "Hey man, I heard Sean's coming in. And I'd love to do a podcast. You guys are doing uh, it." And I didn't hear a fucking thing for like three weeks. Wow, <laughs> nothing, no text, nothing. And I was, "Hey, uh, by the way, we're yeah, he did that to me too." Fucking Vinny, <laughs> and, and I'm on I my fucking couch in LA. Like a, like what the fuck are you doing, man? man? <laughs> are you busy at like hey, two a.m. getting guests? <laughs> look in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> he texts me. I'm in LA, like I'm home back in California. I'm like, oh yeah, I'd love to do your podcast. Just, just let me know. You know, I land Wednesday. I, nothing. 
tonight uh, I hear everything for the first time. I'm like, hey, Vin, when are we doing that podcast? Oh, after the show tonight. <laughs> I yeah, said I, that. I screenshotted, <laughs> I screenshotted our conversation, sent it to him. Yeah. Even but though, I, like, like, I gave you the black thumb and you went, oh, that's bullshit. And I went, you fucking racist. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I sent it to Davis. And I, I, I was telling Davis about it. I was like, yeah. And then he fucking gave him a black thumbs up. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful. I just use whatever's there. It's, I'm sure you do. Yellow. I'm, that's 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 exactly. I'm not yellow. Yes, I'm not a you. Simpson character. <laughs> I fucking told you, Ganant, on the thing. I said after the show on Thursday when oh, I did texted. You? Yeah, uh, I wasn't. Like As I told you, but yes, I didn't get back to you. <laughs> did Dan, you say it on I your podcast? Maybe that's why I didn't listen. Maybe. <laughs> no, <laughs> he, oh, that was fucking rough. You're, yeah, well, that was good. <laughs> you guys are all jumping on me. <laughs> Maybe we should see <laughs> if you can read. Just like all the <laughs> don't, don't, no. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 don't make me think. Oh, I didn't put pictures in there. Is that your, was my problem. Is your are your cats on the back of your phone? That's the Warriors from the movie. Oh, ooh, I like that. Yeah. Huh. Warriors fan. Warriors movie, 1979. Is that the original iPhone? What no, it's that? an iPhone 13. <laughs> I just didn't get a. I just got the regular size. That's funny because yeah. uh, some of our we, fingers can actually just hit the buttons without hitting five fucking apps. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> I'm coming for you guys. I don't give a shit. Gotcha. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. You know what he said? He goes. Uh, uh, he my, texted him. I said, "Hey, no fat jokes." Yeah, it's the first thing out of my mouth. Chris. Yeah. Chris Kankle. <laughs> and I had the, the the wife sandwich joke loaded, ready to go, because I, I knew I'd walk in and go, oh, hey, fatty. Sure. <laughs> I wasn't. I was going to honor it. And then I'm no, like, oh, all right. Gloves <laughs> off. Yeah, well, I wives. wives. Oh, all right. I walked. No, you said it first. I didn't. I retorted. <laughs> I did say it. I, you, know, you just you did. You said it when you were no, right there. You're you coming up. And you're like, I have fucking your wife. I hope you buy me a beer or whatever. <laughs> And I'm reaching in literally for the first time seeing you hugging you. I'm like, okay, Chris Kankle. It's on God, the goddamn podcast that I yeah, won't listen to, exactly. but it's on video too. And this one's brought to you by Liquid Death. Oh, that's Liquid odd. Death. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's weird. CQ never has Liquid Death hanging around. I know, right? Dude, that's because the, we're sponsored. What's wrong with you? Oh, shit. Sorry. I love yeah. Liquid, Liquid Death. That's the name of it. Yeah. <laughs> she texted me, and I didn't text you, Vinny. She said, hey, she asked me to pick you up from the condo. And I said, Colleen, I'm the secret guest tonight. She's like, oh, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that about she CQ. Also, like, if anytime you want to keep a secret, or if you want a, a secret out, and just, tell, just tell Colleen. Yeah. That shit will fucking spread. <laughs> she oh predicted my. how this would go is uh, Dan would walk in, and you would be like, you guys invited this rapist on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> And it didn't go that way. That's so. fucked up. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's okay that he said it, not that. <laughs> Dan's a rapist? Uh, uh, I don't, I'm just the message. That's uh, what she okay. told me. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> she didn't say he was. She just said. Uh, That's what allegedly. 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 Yeah, and there's dudes, too, that he did it with, too. So it's not just. <laughs> Equal opportunity rapist? Yeah, really? He just looks for friction. <laughs> That's what he does. I will say my wife listened to the last one, and she laughed. A lot. That's awesome. Nice. That's awesome. It's kind of like opposite of what will happen Saturday night when we come up. Well, and tonight too. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Weird. Yeah. It, it's pretty cricket. You know, we were doing the tallying for the Clash of the Comics to come back in. I was like, why is it so fucking quiet in here? I should have opened and then they all closed the show. <laughs> <laughs> That's legit. Absolutely legit. That actually makes sense. <laughs> I hate that you agree with it so emphatically. <laughs> That's a good point. Did, did Augie do anything tonight? No, no he got no. in late. Okay. Uh, no, Augie's just here tomorrow, and uh, it was nice to see him. He's recording his CD, man. That would be awesome. Remember, oh, is he really? Dan Schlissel from Stand Up Records. What are yeah, CDs? Yeah. What? What are CDs? <laughs> oh, he's still al he's recording an album. Oh, his comedy album. But that'll be great to see Dan it's Schlissel. Like, oh, I, I didn't know who that. that is. I thought you knew him. He's, no. he's a Stand Up Records founder. He records. So he's he, one of Eddie. He did Lewis Black. He did Lewis Black. Oh, David right Cross. Long like, time. Yeah, yeah. Right on. But uh, yeah, he's the man. I even saw Lewis out there too. Yeah, Gooey was here. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. All the roads come out of the woodwork when Gananson town. Oh, my God, man. It's just all these stories. Hey, do you remember? The, it's just uh, some of it I do. Uh, a lot of it I don't. A lot of it I, I want to forget. We forget, yeah. yeah <laughs> well, especially you. You try to forget. You and Rob Little. Oh, my God. I just told this. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. That's another story. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I got to hear that one. I just told this story. Like, I forgot. Like, I, I, uh, ha I found an old photo of you and Rob Reuter. Oh, um, and it's just your balls. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are holding your dicks. You're hiding your dicks, and you, you just have your balls out. And Rob Ruder has these gigantic fucking mammoth balls. <laughs> like back, and this was like twenty some years ago. So we were younger then. We're like in our mid twenties or something. So your balls should be snug. He's got these long old man balls, and 
Uh, apparently, I took a picture of it and forgot I did. <laughs> um, and Whatever. I was just like going through old photos. I'm like, ah, what the fuck? Like, and, uh, and, and you're like right next it's to framed. each other. So it's like it's, you guys are looking like. It's framed in your house. You right guys now, are better. looking like like you clink glasses of a toast. <laughs> Let's see, your balls are so close to each other. That. And I forgot I had that photo and I put it, I, I hid it in the house. And then my, my wife found it. She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Like, oh, no, it's just Rob and uh, McGuire's balls. And she's Who's like, Rob, really? don't throw it out. Um, don't throw that picture out. I need to save it. I love it. Is that a five by seven that you have? <laughs> Rob is Robbie. Uh, uh, Stacy's ex-boyfriend. Yeah. Oh, okay. He owns I didn't Jerry's. Know, I didn't know his last name. Jerry's, Jerry's bar. bar he, was, and then, uh, he was family back then. He was. He was, he was always uh, around. And, um, I didn't know his last name. Enough to, yeah. for me to take pictures of his balls. Long balls. But why did you ask us to pose? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know if I took that picture, but I, I would have had to. Have. I'm sure he you acquired know. it from somewhere. Know. Well, that was back in the day when we used to have hotel parties. We had a lot of oh, those. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. And let's hear about these. We Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> we leave didn't have an audience. story, asshole. You brought it up. No, we just, used, I mean, we would drink and sit in hot tubs and have Great fun. Story. And, uh, and caress each other's balls. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I that one guy would float it. to the top. Yeah. <laughs> I remember Adam Farrar and I once went to a, a swingers party in, a, in, in some hotel, and uh, that was creepy. It was just, it was, it's nothing like you. It's like if all of us were swingers. <laughs> <laughs> you got, we, we, we have an audience now. And you know what? And that's yeah. Augie in the background laughing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. That, that, was, that was a lot of fun times. Yeah. So what about this uh, Rob Little uh, issue story? All right. Do you guys get into it? Because Rob's Rob Little's such a fucking nice guy. Yeah, he is. Um, He's except a, to you. He, here's what happened. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to tell this. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wow. All right, we yes, were at it. Yes. Okay, all right, all right. We were all, it was a Todd Tyler. No one and, listens to this. Just go ahead. No yeah, yeah. Yeah. We get like 500 listens. This is the one that makes you guys. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, Sean, episode, I swear. Episode 62, that's what's going to do it. Door Guys podcast gets better views than Rogan. Uh, yeah. I was awful motherfuckers. I didn't you, do it. When you and Rob had to break into the condo, and that's the that's only story. Oh, I was, shit. Yeah, I mean, that's the story uh -oh. I should have told? Just, yeah. <laughs> 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 Fuck. Oh, hey. I'm going to start asking. We robbed for, the bank this one I'm going to ask for specific <laughs> stories. <laughs> which story and lead me into it? Like one, two, or three. No, no. This is way better. I thought that shit Rob, was slow. Rob and I, uh, Rob and I, uh, one night we're out drinking and we got locked out of the condo. God, and then, Colleen was pissed. And it was the weekend of, uh, it was the week of, uh, I've heard this. Paulie time. Shore was going to be there that weekend, uh, but he wasn't there for the Thursday show. He was only going to be there for like Friday, Saturday. So it's Thursday night. Um, Rob and I get all drunk at some bar and we, <laughs> we get back to the condo. We realize we were locked out. And uh, he's like, hey, just call Colleen. I'm, it's like <laughs> three in the morning. I'm like, I am not calling Colleen ever. Uh, I don't want to call her ever, uh, especially to let me in. Cause we locked ourselves out cause we're drunk. He's like, and we, we kind of like get into it. He's like, why are you so scared of her? You know, I mean, fuck you. Why are why, you? Why aren't you? She'll, you know, <laughs> so we were, he goes to, he goes over to the, uh, where his bedroom was and he starts breaking in. Um, and I'm like, dude, don't do that. And he's got the screen bent and uh, I'm like, someone's going to call. Don't do it. So he stops. And we we're arguing more. And then finally, I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to call. I'm going to call CQ. I called her. And uh, Kaya, Colleen, we, we're, hey, uh, Bob and I are locked out of the condo and we're drinking. She comes over. Uh, she drives uh, from her house. And she does this thing. It's late at night. She's in her gown. Uh-oh. And uh, just, I remember in when she pulled, she pulled into the, uh, the, the, the driveway of the condo. The, 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 the door, the window just goes, lowers a little bit. And just a hand comes out and just drops some keys. He goes, and rolls the window back up, and she just takes off. She <laughs> doesn't say anything. She was pissed. And uh, well, there, there oh, she is now. Oh, oh no, she's on. She's on this live feed. We're telling the Rob Little story, CQ. She, she said she was going to be here tonight. But uh, so then, uh, uh, so yeah, so she was like all you know, prepping for for Pauly Shore all weekend. It was it was madness, and uh, uh, so. She picks up Polly uh, for, f from the airport early the next morning, and um, she's fried. She's she was working like seventeen hour days. She's fried, and, and last thing she wanted to do was stop uh, kissing her ass. I mean, look at her. I have. She's to. already she's pissed off at you. 
He, uh, cha- he changed his tone. So <laughs> I did. I did. Oh, yeah. The, Colleen's the, the best person on Colleen the planet, Quinn. and I would not dis- <laughs> <laughs> You would not. <laughs> you can go back and listen to this, right? Yes. Uh, well, at least somebody will. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so the next morning, she picks up Polly Shore from the airport, and they go right to radio, and she's, you know, she's operating on like two hours of sleep now. And, um, and, and that story breaks on the radio. They're like, oh, I would have. I think that t- TNT were like, oh, you look tired, CQ. And then she tells, <laughs> you know, the story. And uh, I was working in the, 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 the ticket booth. I was working in the front office at the old Funny Bone. So Toby. I was answering phones. Toby. Uh, and, uh, and TNT called in. And, and you know, when, when you answer the phone, you can hear, you just know it's radio. And they're laughing. Ah, so what happened? You know, and I, I kind of briefly told the story of, like, I was ready to sleep in the bushes instead of call this woman to come bring me keys. <laughs> And I, and I was like, but Rob Little was insistent on, uh, you know, and they're all laughing and, you know, whatever. A minute later, the, f- the phone rings again. I'm like, Funny Bone Omaha, and it's Rob Little. But he doesn't say, hey, hey, it's Rob Little. Gonna, he just goes, it's just long, awkward pause. And he goes, I thought we were in the same boat, man. <laughs> and then he hangs up. <laughs> He's like pissed. He wouldn't talk to me. Uh, but that's, that, that was that story. Oh, and I think he, well, shit, I'm not going to tell that. Yeah, that's, yeah. There's more, stop. but that's it. I'm going to stop. Stop. <laughs> I'm stopping. There you go. But yeah. First lesson learned. Yeah. Didn't you have another uh, Keys fiasco involving Colleen where you're supposed to pick her up from the airport? And uh, I think I've heard this story about 50 times, but it'd be better to hear it from you. The last time I said to anybody, you can count on me, was to Colleen. <laughs> And it was, <laughs> I never said it again to another human being. Hey, I got your back or nothing like that. In fact, I only tell people I will let you down. Don't trust me. Uh, no, I was going to, I had her car. She was like, Hey, uh, how about I just, she was going out of state somewhere. And, um, she was like, uh, how about I just leave you my car and, and will you pick me up on Sunday, Sean? I need you to pick me up from the airport, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that's how cq emphasizes don't fuck this up i need you to pick me up <laughs> don't fuck it up doop, 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 doop. <laughs> and uh i'm like all right CQ, you can count on me and um she leaves i and uh it's uh like sunday night um it's the night that she i, I was supposed to pick her up and um I, I remember i get into it's the old club i threw my jacket uh behind her chair and i had my key her her car keys in the jacket and um i threw my jacket behind her desk and um i remember that night really clear like mike <laughs> fox was like trying to give me shots i'm like no i can't i can't i gotta be i gotta pick up cq from the airport i can't fuck this up um and uh he's like all right and uh, i go uh go get my coat there's the keys are gone i'm like fuck where are my keys? Where are the keys and I, I searched everywhere i searched the whole club i cannot find her car keys and and it's like half hour now to, to pick her up you know she's landing and now i'm 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 i'm, I'm literally I'm, I'm sweating i'm nervous <laughs> uh, my palms are sweaty i'm legit fear like uh, i grew up in a gang neighborhood and and cq scared me more than fucking gang bangers <laughs> and I'm, i remember going in the back of the old club and looking through snow banks i'm like i'm retracing all my steps i'm like did they fall in the snow like why would they do i uh i some of the story I forget, but uh, I went back to the uh, I went back to the condo and I, I think my phone was off, but she was trying to call me the whole time <laughs> yeah. and couldn't get a hold of me, and so she took a cab, and she didn't have any money on her, <laughs> so she had to like ask this, this this cabbie like, hey, can you stop off at a you know a, a ATM in the like, four, three in the morning now. Uh, Six months later, uh, I'm at the club, and uh, by then we're we're good. CQ and I are good. I told her I don't know what happened. How, your how long were I, you on the naughty step? Probably still, actually. <laughs> Damn it! I, uh, but you know we're good. Six months has passed, and CQ and I are fine. And uh, I'm working at the club in the in the front office there, and um, I'm walking down this long hallway, and I just hear CQ's like, "Hey, Sean, come here." And I come in the office, and she's just holding up her keys. When I threw my jacket behind her desk, the keys fell out and went through the CD racks. And they were just there the whole oh, time. Shit. Oh. Just sitting there the whole time. Make wise decisions. That's what's 
dangling those keys in front of my face. She said never, it was 1 a.m. She was going through the ATM. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, CQ. I embellished a little bit. I thought it was three. <laughs> I'd never heard that story before. Why yeah. didn't you call me? Because uh, I didn't want any of that story getting out. Because I would have laughed on yes. my phone up. <laughs> yes. Is that when like, Go Fuck you have, Yourself started? Yeah, probably. Or, I, yeah. I, have I you know. talked to Michael Click? <laughs> but yeah, a lot of, lot of CQ trouble. <laughs> That's because you like to get yourself in trouble. I, I'm too dumb to stay out of it. <laughs> What's your, uh, tell me a story about Dan getting in trouble. Him? Yeah. I was a good yeah. boy. He said he was a good boy. He said that he never did boy. anything. No. Look at this I guy. was a good boy. <laughs> I can't. I was. I mean, there was some fuck ups. Yeah, there was some fuck ups. I'm yeah. not going to tell that story. No, school. yeah. So when really? You, so when your fuck-ups no, no, were... I'm not saying no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking right. Yeah. So your fuck-ups were big? But no, I didn't big? do stupid no, shit No, he, like he didn't do stupid shit no. like that. But he no. he definitely stole alcohol and red-cupped it in the back. <laughs> Thief. <laughs> stole alcohol? Yeah, if when you guys would go in the back, you and dumb Gooey would have those red cups. Oh, you had... No, oh, that's right. You were just smoking weed all the time. I was a pothead. That's I wasn't... Right. I, I didn't drink. You were still drinking, though. I probably did. But yeah. you guys... <laughs> you and uh, Jason... Dixon? Dixon. Yeah, Dixon. Told that story. We were just talking Dixon. about Dixon. Yeah. He's, how, how funny is Dixon, man? He is. He's like he's like a, an Ognos. Jason Dixon, he's, like, he's the Ned Flanders. Hey there, guys. <laughs> I'm out a little smokely dokely. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't she bust you two smoking in the parking lot yes, out front? She busted yeah. me. Yeah, and he him. smoked it right he, in front yeah. of her office. This he just told that story. Rooms of smoke, and he's like, here you go. <laughs> Dixon's got a Mark Gross light. Like if there were two drinks, there's like Coke and Coke Zero. Gross would be Coke. Dixon is like Coke Zero. He's like a little less. <laughs> a lighter version of that. We I went, would agree. We went through and uh, when, I, when I was on last time and we talked about our favorite guys and I mentioned Gross and I told him the, the two, the hooker, the rental car hooker joke oh. and then the uh, pushing the guy off the bridge joke. Yeah. And if you buy a rental car, <laughs> you're an idiot. <laughs> Well, how's that? If you, <laughs> marrying like, a, <laughs> buying a, a car is like marrying a hooker. Yeah. You got to ignore the cigarette, or everybody's been in her. You got to everybody else has been burns. in it. Yeah. You got to ignore the cigarette burns. Yeah. And then that joke never does what he thinks it should. And then yeah. he does the bit where he goes like, "What? What? That's so good? Was it Ho Night? That's what. That's where the joke really was. He wanted to say that. That's right. I forgot about. He that. liked the joke, but he liked Ho Night. Uh, is my face red or what? I didn't know it was Ho Night Thursday night at the Funny Bone in Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> then everybody would laugh at that, and that's how he got out of it. And I'm not kissing Augie's ass, but I do the old, I'm sitting here trying to get drunk and have unprotected sex. <laughs> I fucking love that bit, Augie. I'm serious, man. Look at I your fingers. They look like Vienna sausages. <laughs> Go ahead. Got these sausage fingers? fingers. Yeah. Can't help you. You're just a little guy. Uh, mine, I'm just mine. a little guy. My fingers look like like uh, women's fingers, like a women's di- <laughs> like yeah. women's vibrators. Those rabbits yeah. that they sneak onto planes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Dildo hands. They sneak yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go dildo hands. Sneaking on planes. Yeah. That was awesome. Dildo hands. Dildo hands. <laughs> dildo hands. <laughs> dildo hands. <laughs> a new Marvel hero. Like Sean Dildo hands. <laughs> Sean Dildo hands. <laughs> Johnny Depp's walking around. You guys won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe you will. I don't know. <laughs> you're doing visual jokes for a podcast, Sean. What? You're doing visual jokes for a podcast. So what? He's on no. camera. I'm on camera. No. Yeah, but I, I don't really have McGahey stories other than one. Really? That one. You're going to be like that? Like what? Do it. Do no. it. Do no. it. No. 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 <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Both of them. Believe me, no, no, I no, want no, to. No, I, no, 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 as much no, as I hate him, I want to ruin his life. I don't want to ruin his life. So. <laughs> Wait, Let's both talk over each other. That's he great. said his wife actually listens. So I know. Yeah, she, yeah that's, she's awesome. She doesn't deserve him. Look at him. He's got a hot wife. Look at that. <laughs> like squirrely beard. Bird's nest. You Go done? Ahead. You done? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was also uh, told about this uh, story about the uh, night that you uh, met your wife. Sean. Yeah. And uh, I heard that uh, you, you uh, had your wife all confused. You were hanging out with uh, you and uh, Colleen's son, uh, Murph Dog. And uh, Vicky thought that uh, you were the smart one and he was the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that. Really? He's neither. I'm neither. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. Man, she was off. <laughs> what happened to her? Swing and a miss. <laughs> No, no, we met at the, yeah, I met my wife at the Leavenworth Bar, and I yeah. went in with Murph, 
That's weird. Like, I, I remember the first time I ever saw my wife. I remember her face. She was sitting right there. And uh, also, she was the only Asian woman in the bar. <laughs> <laughs> Probably one of the only Asians in Omaha. But uh, Was but, Ruder working there at that time? Yeah, day? Rob okay. Ruder was working there. Yeah. And um, I was actually, do you guys remember, uh, do you guys remember, do, uh, oh, you would, McGay, Molly? That used oh, to yeah. work at yep. yeah yeah well she had this boyfriend for a while he was a I don't know he was kind of an asshole and but they but they broke up and I was like finally mm-hmm. and I was gonna work on her like I was working on her forever that was gonna happen it wasn't gonna happen <laughs> but in my head I thought something's gonna happen um, but so we all go it was like a it was a a Monday night because there's no shows on Mondays and we went to the Leavenworth Rob was working it was a bunch of funny bone people and Murph was there. And um, it was busy, and I, this, this guy, I was going to buy, I bought a round of drinks for everybody. There's, like, tables situated next to the bar, and uh, this guy gets up from the bar, leaves, and I sit down, and I ask the girl there. I'm like, hey, what, do you know if that guy's going to come back? She was like, oh, I think he left. And um, uh, that was my wife. We just started talking, and I, uh, it was some of the fun, most fun conversation I've ever had with probably anyone. And we, I, for, I forgot, she made me forget about Molly. And like Rob was like, oh, here's your drinks. And I remember just going, delivering the drinks to everyone and just basically ditching you guys. And when I went, sat back down and, and I just talked to her. And I wasn't even thinking about like hitting on or anything. I'm, I was just like, wow, she's, this person's really funny. Like she's really fun, funnier than me. That's when I first hated her. She um, still is. She still is. Um, <laughs> she's closing uh, this weekend. Uh, Good. No. <laughs> But uh, but that was her. And then uh, like I remember she uh, she got up and she was there with a friend that was she was being her friend's wingman because her friend was hitting on I think Rob actually. Um, but they left and and when she left I'm like fuck I I should have probably got her number or something like I, I she just blew me away this just fun conversation and um, we happened to be go, go there two days later and she happened to be there again and that's. When I she was waiting for you. So yeah, that's what it was. How long you been married now? Oh my God, uh, we've been together for almost twenty years. Uh, wow, nice. Married uh, in '09, but okay. not in '04. Yeah, right yeah. On. She's Omaha girl. '09 or Benson 04. Bunny. She's a Benson Bunny and a it's just dumb name for a bunny. <laughs> what the fuck. I hear uh, she's the only reason uh, I'm, that she, you know you're actually out here. She let you come out to play because you had to come out and fetch some shit for her. Oh, she wants me to bring all of her law books. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Otherwise, she, would, she wouldn't let that. you out of the house. She'd keep everything, you. everything. That when I think it's something for me, it's a slow reveal. It's something for her. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll, like I'll, I'll land, and she'd be like, "Oh, you need to pick up that U-Haul on Sunday to, you know, drive back and with all my law books." What? <laughs> drive back? What the fuck? No, but I. Yes, I was honey. Do that, and then yes, yeah. I do, yes, and then honey. I'll do it, and you'll right, do it because you know. She bought our house for us. Her and her degrees <laughs> bought a house and lets me and my GED live there. <laughs> you mean the Scandinavian airline commercial didn't pay out there? Alaska Airlines? Same thing. Yeah, it did pay, actually. But, uh, uh, but no, she's got, like, I got to go, go to my in-laws, I think, on Sunday or Monday and rifle through a bunch of shit. Are they heavy. driving back to California? No, I think I'm gonna just ship it back. It's it's easier. I'm not driving back. Fuck. It. Yeah, that's a fucking. What did she tell you to do? It, she probably told me I should just drive back. I should just listen to <laughs> so, what the instructions said. Yeah, and, don't and don't go off think script. for my, Don't yeah, think makes, for yourself. That makes sense. You're not good when you think for well, yourself. Thanks for buying the house, honey. Love you, but fuck you. I'm gonna just ship shit back to you. <laughs> Is that what I asked you to do? No, <laughs> no. Look at me. Do I need to change the litter box? <laughs> not to mention shipping books is not going to be fucking cheap. Yeah. Yeah. But it's better than like gassing up a U-Haul now where yeah, gas is true. high and hotel expense. And then the one way, cause I'm not bringing it back. Under <laughs> <laughs> dumb law books. Davis, can you still get a, get him a discount at U-Haul? Uh, no, I, I think I burned all my bridges there. <laughs> used to work at U-Haul? I used to. Oh. That's a good story. And then uh, I have a wife like <laughs> yours. It's, yeah, he's got a sugar mama too. Yeah, she, she's the bread one. Sugar tit? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> sugar tit. <laughs> I'm just glad she has her shit together, man. I'd be so screwed. Same. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
Yeah, we've talked. We've we've told Davis that he he knows. You know, those, like 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 my wife. I'm I'm gonna try to be objective as possible as I can be because I am her husband. But like my wife really is the smartest person I've ever met. She's got a gift. She's really gifted. But then like I do, I've just wondered like, well, why is she with me? Like, you know, like like. Certain smart people. <laughs> certain agree. smart people. Well they got they got a well blind done. spot somewhere, and it, no matter how little their blind spot is, even though they got a good light in life, they can't see everything. And here I am. That's where I got in. You know, <laughs> hiding that little blind spot. Yeah, here I am. <laughs> Dick was good to you, wasn't it? It wasn't. I don't know why. Wow. <laughs> I don't know why Deal Hughley that joke. <laughs> <laughs> All the door guys got real mad because uh, I last summer I went to Atlanta with my wife and I shit my pants in the airport and what? they were real mad when I told that story because my wife is a saint and dealt with me. And they're like, you're just walking around like a huge child shitting your pants and <laughs> this beautiful woman just Where takes care this? of you. <laughs> yeah, well, I have a couple questions. One, how does that even relate to anything I just said? <laughs> no, but why did really, you shit your uh, pants? Because uh, I ate chili dogs for about three days. Oh, well, you deserve, a, you deserve Oh, that. and you're like, I'm not yeah. using the yeah. airport bathroom. I'll rather uh, shit myself. <laughs> no, I, ga I gambled. I really <laughs> oh, I I gambled and lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. lost. Yeah. Almost missed my flight. Uh, oh my it was God. a big ordeal. So, I dried my ass with the hotel white towel today, <laughs> and I must have dug too far. Remember that line in Lord of the Rings? <laughs> the dwarves, the dwarves <laughs> dug too greedily. <laughs> <laughs> That's the line that came up when I looked at the towel. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. Yeah. See, Sean, I've always said you're just th th throw the scripted shit out and just start talking. Okay, he's got Seriously. my life figured out. Why don't you Seriously. move in with me? You both no. both have my life figured out. Well, <laughs> fucking tits are sitting on your gut. I'm not. I'm not saying I wouldn't do anything to him, but I'm just saying that's what oh. they're. <laughs> Go for fat jokes because the <laughs> spotlight's on me. <laughs> so, I'm just telling Sean you. always goes for the low hanging fruit. I yeah. do. I, well, yeah. look how low they're hanging. <laughs> oh, I set you up for that. Titty one. jokes. That was good. <laughs> Ganants all balls, no dick. I am. Yeah. What? What? <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I am. What? You don't hear a goddamn word from him. And then just <laughs> how it works. Whiskey drinker. That's <laughs> all balls, no dick. That's how, and then, that's and then goes back from the mic like he made a great point. <laughs> <laughs> well, that mic's too expensive for him to drop, so he just has to back up from it. <laughs> yeah, don't um, do that. There you go. My God, we were talking about uh, earlier, uh, talking about hat. Um, Oh uh, yeah, you worked with Hat. I worked I'm with sure Hat. Some great most, hat stuff. A lot. Oh, oh man, my God. it's the most I've ever worked with any comic. Yeah. It was, yeah, yeah, it was yeah, Hat yeah. because when I lived here, like Hat was here what like thirty weeks out of the year, yeah. all the time. Yeah, so I was always he, working. He was here every six weeks. Yes. Yeah. 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 So uh, like, and I was never like a big. I, I've done cocaine, but I was, that was not my thing. I was always weed. Yeah. But uh, you know that was Hat's thing, Madison Hat's thing. So one time we were like, he, he did coke. Yeah, I did. Oh, I did <laughs> no, not you, him. Yeah, he did. Okay. Only but like little, I remember, like it was between. No, he used to say he hated cocaine, but he loved the way it smelled. Smelled. <laughs> stupid hat. <laughs> then did he point to his dumb tattoo? Not yeah. the devil hat. Yeah. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> All those dumb go-to lines. I miss that fucker. I know, right? right? I fucking miss that guy. Huh. But uh, he was. Uh, it was like between shows, and he's and I, I went back to to get high before the second hey, show. I just want to let you know that I didn't tell any hat cocaine stories. None. Okay, well, I'm going to tell them now. Okay. Thanks for interrupting one of them. <laughs> He's well, not going to be mad. No, <laughs> but I, I go back to the uh, the condo. I was going to get you know high with my weed, and I'm walking into my room, and uh, Hat's got his – he's like in the other room, doors wide open. He's got this mountain of cocaine. like a, It looked like a snowball. That's <laughs> the most cocaine I've ever seen in my life. And he's like, God damn it, get in. This is the best shit I've ever had. You got to get yourself some of this. I know you're a dumb, dorky, dumb pothead, but get yourself. And that's what he said. He's like insulting me and wanting me to try his cocaine. And I just remember, man, it, I, like if Hat's saying this is the best cocaine you've ever had, uh, you got to do it with Hat. And, and we did it. And it was like, it was, it was, it was really good. And, I, and we both, I don't know how got through, we got through that second show. Oh yeah, this was between shows. It was between shows. And he, he was like, I remember he was uh, for the second show Saturday. It was, it was the induction 
part and we're just high as fuck <laughs> on cocaine and um he's putting people under and uh i can i can you know he's got these jittery yeah and i can and, and uh i just don't know how he did it for all those years i could barely get through five minutes <laughs> without uh you know doing this like making sure nothing's hanging out of my nose that guy was like a pro on cocaine yeah he was Whatever happened at no, sorry. Oh, oh, I love oh. that. Dude, there's a there's a grocery that, that store wrong. I pass. Too soon. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> yeah. How funny, like, don't you think Hat would laugh at his death? Like, slipping on milk in Walmart. God oh, damn it. God, I know. Yes. What the fuck? I think about him all the time. That's a uh, stupid video that you was that you and Gross oh, that did God, for him man. for the memorial. That was fucking That was really that good. Was, Awesome. Yeah. I miss that dude, man. I, I worked with Hat so many times. We had so many, and he was a good dude. Such like, a nasty. Yeah. He was a good dude. Like funny, man. Talk about funny. Oh yeah. Just telling stories. He had so many stories, and he would just. I, he was one of those guys. I'm like, tell me another story. Uh -huh. Tell me another story. Uh, well, yeah, I, I mean, miss that guy. After I mean, after the show, I mean, sitting back there in the green room, you know, for hours just listening to talking about this story and that yeah. story and stuff like that. And, yeah. You know, and the way he would just leave it all on stage, like he would go out there. I mean, even when he wasn't fucked up, because there was a while there where he was, <laughs> well, he was he he was being sober, and I think that lasted like one time while he was here, so like a month and a half for the first show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, but yeah, but I mean, even you know, he got off stage and he would just be spent. Just, yeah, yeah, he just right. So much, just so drained from all yeah, the energy yeah. he put out there. Okay. And then he would just sit back there and talk for hours, just like ready to pass out, but just talking about everything. Yeah, he was so fun to be with. Like, and also like no one did it like Hat. Like, no. If, if you're gonna be a hypnotist, that's how you do it. Like, you got to be this deranged carny. Yeah. Like oh this, my god! I've never thought about he, that's exactly what it that's was. Exa I yeah. thought that for, I never, I never thought all about the that. years yeah. uh, like back at the old club watching like this. He's this is how you do it. No one, he's the guy. Yeah. Um, and and that's who you want. You don't want your friends clucking like chickens. You want your friends to give birth and, yeah. <laughs> and you know jerk off their imaginary jerk dicks. off their dick. Right. You know jerk. Yeah, uh, that's he did everything. The audience wanted him. <laughs> him to do to yeah. their friends and shit and deranged carney that's perfect God, that one time uh in cleveland i i uh he, he was putting people under and and it's real man like i know people don't believe oh, yeah. but no the people these people were hypnotized they yeah. were um uh so he puts these people he, he's putting people under and and i uh uh he, he puts this one woman under and, and he's, he's asking her questions something like um um Okay, you're in a safe spot, uh, wherever you like to hide. And she said something like, uh, I'm going to hide where my daddy can't touch me. <laughs> and uh, it was like this six foot six black dude, and her dad was in the crowd. And he just oh. gets up. You just see this big, and you could see it in the video because the, like, the camera is, is uh, uh, in, the, in the back, and uh -huh. it's, it's recording the whole stage. And the guy was sitting in the middle, and it's all of a sudden you just see a slow figure, Paul Bunyan, oh, just shit. slowly rise. <laughs> Get your ass off stage, girl. <laughs> and the hat's like, what the fuck? And like, they're, they're like, uh, they were about to go at it. Like hat ran into the kitchen and was grabbing knives. The fuck? Yeah. And it was just, Holy shit. that doesn't surprise me, but wow. Oh my God. He couldn't find his tomahawk. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Tatanka. Tatanka. I miss that dude, man. Me too. This dumb Harley. Probably only rode that Harley once. Remember, I remember like he was always talking about Harleys. And then like one time uh, you said that we, we he was going to drive up. Yeah, we had a poker run <laughs> and he fucking trailered his yes. bike in the back of the old club and then rode his bike back around. For yeah. And I went, come on, man. You yeah. can't ride from Council Bluffs. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought that was so funny. But you know what? Fuck, whatever. There's a lot of guys like that. So. Yeah. But it was hot and yeah. it was funny. But it's funny that you the cocaine story because i kind of had the same deal I, I went to pick him up one time at a condo and i walked in and there was the biggest fucking block of cocaine i've ever seen in my entire life i'm not <laughs> shit it looked like when they press it on like narcos and shit that's what it looked like, like <laughs> he goes chop some off i'm like okay here we go yeah, <laughs> thank you yeah I'm, seriously i mean it was fucking crazy. I walked in on him one time at the condo and, and he's having sex with some woman and, and I, it was one of those like i walked in the front you know the front door and I went oh sorry like I, I saw it up and I shut yeah. it and I, I, I left and I waited two hours and came back uh, 
I didn't know this, but for years, half forgot and thought that was me that was having sex. Like what? And what? he was telling this story all over wait, the road. Yeah, I walked wait, in what? on Ganan. He's getting his dick sucked, and I'm like, <laughs> motherfucker, that was you. <laughs> that was you. It's a great. It made me look great, like I'm getting laid all the time, know, but right? it wasn't. That's funny. Cocaine head. <laughs> Foggy cocaine head. <laughs> this hat. Love you. I love you, hat. Didn't even yeah. know it was him. Yeah, we had so much fun, so many fun times with that dude. And he just packed the club. Uh, just every time. Every time. Yeah. Like Even in summer. Well, and he'd always freak out. He'd always be like, man, he's like, like you know, we get a, a light night, you know, where it was like 270, 280. And he's like, he's like, oh, fuck, I don't know. Am, am I getting done? And people Why am I in the business? Like, yeah. And I was like, I was like, I said, Jay, calm down. There's a lot of people here. And, you know, someone's turning 21 every day. And they've got family and friends that have been coming to see you. And they only want, and, and they, only, they want to come out and see you. And he's like, yeah. oh, yeah, that's a good point. And then and he would calm the fuck down and go do the show. Yeah. Someone hasn't ignored your act. What? Today. What? You know that? They've turned 21. There's somebody else turning 21 today, and they uh, have not ignored your act. Someone has turned 21, and they, that's a it new person really that won't get my jokes. That's <laughs> right. great. Bring yeah. them out. <laughs> right. Are you still doing all the Asian stuff? A little bit. But yeah. A little bit or a, a lot of bit? It's, it's the bulk of it. Okay. <laughs> it's the only thing I got. It hasn't been. It's been a while. I had some new I've shit tonight. Your... I had a bunch of new stuff tonight, though. But you yeah, st- it is. Are you still ducking towards the nub? No. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's such a great bit. <laughs> I know, I right? It. You need to bring it in. Really? Def Leppard's hip. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Guys, I got this Paul Inca bit. It kills. <laughs> My friend Dan McGah, he said I should yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember there was a time when you were here with Lundholm, and Lundholm was sitting in the back, and he just, every time you would start a uh, bit, he would just fucking yell out. I remember like, Yell out your punchlines. No, <laughs> no, he was yelling out, still in the air. Oh, yeah, 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 that's what it was. The punchline, and he was gracious enough to let the laughter and people like die down. Still in the act, so it was quiet. <laughs> Everyone was quiet, and they could hear his dumb skinhead voice. Skinhead. Lundholm went from like it was weird. I said this on TNT this morning. Like Lundholm went from. Uh, I remember I've known him for years. I've known him since '96 or '97, and uh, and we always got along. I love the dude, but like. Uh, we were working in Buffalo, New York at the funny bone, like in in 99. And last time I'd saw him, he had hair, a little bit of hair is balding. Yeah. But then, then this time I saw him, he had shaved his head and he had like, like this, like a handlebar mustache, like he, and like a striped tank top shirt. He looked like like a, like a circus worker, like a strong man. <laughs> like a strong man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, hey, like, like the, that doors uh, album where the strong man and the little, I don't know if you know what that looks like, but that's what he looked like. It was comical. And I thought he was doing a bit and, um, it was just, this just weird get up. And I was like, Hey man, what's happened to your face? And he was like, what do you mean? And he, he did he honestly was lost. And I, I think I hurt his feelings. I was being serious. And I'm like, I would never do that to my buddies. I'd never want to, yeah, yeah. I mean, I do. What? I want to destroy your, but you want to destroy your buddies, but you don't want to really True. do it. Honestly, right. you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I, I was like, what the fuck is there? And uh, it's just this weird, this this get up, this strong man get up. Like you pay a buck to go see him wrestle an alligator or some shit in a tent. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, uh, and then then and then later he, he shaved, like he just had a regular mustache and wore, then he switched to track suits. <laughs> he started wearing track suits. I'm like, what the fuck? That's not a good look on him. No, no, no. He looks like a Ukrainian pimp. I was just gonna say, <laughs> hello. You like uh, you like what you see? Maybe you like little boy. I don't know. <laughs> maybe uh, maybe times are tough for you. I don't know. You like hairless Asian boy? I don't know. I don't know. It's my Ukrainian pimp. You know, there's a, That's not bad. Yeah, there's. I know there's a war going, going on, and yeah. it's pro Ukraine. Nice there's pimps still pimping out in the Ukraine. <laughs> That's how hardcore they are. You still got a pimp during a war. Yeah. That guy is handling a landmine, pimp. He's a no, real life. He's a pimp. Uh, I love Lundholm, man. I haven't seen that guy in a minute. That guy has some great stories. Man. Oh, yeah. That story of like when he hit rock bottom. Mm-hmm. You ever tell you that story? Like he casing out that supermarket and he, he jumps in that little Asian lady's car and he's got, he's, he found a, a gun on a dead homeless guy and he's going to rob this woman. 
And he pulls a gun on this little Asian woman. She takes it from him. And he's scared. He's like, ah! He falls out of the car and just hides in a dumpster crying. <laughs> that's a fucking great story, man. Yeah. Like, that's, we changed his life. And that was my mother-in-law, by the way. That <laughs> <laughs> in Oakland. She, from, from the story that I heard about your mother-in-law, she sounds like she's a tough woman. She's great, man. She, she's <laughs> funny, man. But like she teaches, like I, I've been learning Spanish and I can only learn Spanish. Like I'm learning it on Duolingo. And there's this guy, like these, the voices they use to teach you Spanish. I can only learn, I have to mimic the voice that's teaching me. I, that's just how I learn. So this guy will say shit like, uh, uh, Juan come manzanas, which is Juan eats apples. You know, <laughs> so, but that's how I have to say it. Juan come manzanas. So like, <laughs> uh, uh, you, know, you know, so... But like my mother-in-law will teach me, they speak Hmong. Uh, and so like there's a dish called lap, it's spelled L-A-A-R-B, lap. And it's basically just diced beef and it's really good and mm -hmm. flavorful, lime juice and shit. But, but, you, but you pronounce it lap. That's how you say it. <laughs> that's how she says it. So uh -huh. that's how, and it, it kills my wife. She's like, oh my God, you, you say it better than I can. Like, <laughs> you know, like lap, you gotta cut the end off a little bit. And, It'd be really cool if Gilbert Godfrey was on your Spanish deal. Can you do Gilbert Godfrey speaking Spanish? Do you want to complete that thought? What yeah. the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> when you're learning Spanish. What? Gilbert Godfrey's voice. Yeah, I don't do a good, good oh, Gilbert Godfrey. Okay. I was setting you up here. I, you set me up for an, uh, for an impression, impression you can't do. do. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what he's doing. He's like, yeah, I know. Hey, that'd be uh, cool if Barack Obama could do that, right? I guess it would. <laughs> yeah, guys, you know me. I'm Gannett, man of a thousand voices. <laughs> Weren't you the guy that that's taught Frank Kelly in, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, I, miss, uh, I worked with Gilbert Gottfried once in uh, Miami, and I only worked with, man, that was like, a, a, it was so cool because it's like, wow, he's, he's an early hero of mine. And yeah. you get to meet these people. Like, what a, this is surreal, Gilbert Gottfried in Miami. And um, his opening joke was, uh, uh, I was at a party with Jackie Kennedy Onassis and I bumped into her and I nervously said, do you remember where you were when? Ah, Sorry. <laughs> like, nobody laughed at that joke like, all week like nobody laughed at, he just ate it all week but he was so funny like he had this weird i don't even remember like a gary coleman bit that just went on forever and got more ridiculous and he's like he was just so absurd I walked out of the store and there's five Gary Coleman's all standing on top of their shoulders, looking at me in a in an overcoat, trying to get into a movie. That's just weird shit. <laughs> and we're all laughing, and the crowd just wasn't buying it. Now, see, just take that and speak Spanish. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. It's where Where was that at? Miami. Huh. Miami. Yeah. Back like '99 or something, 2000. Huh. But that was he was like a nice guy, real quiet, kept to himself. Yeah, I could see that. How you doing? He didn't. Say, it's like he didn't sound like that either. Really, like it's like Bobcat. He's like, oh, I know he's not that guy. Right, right. Yeah, and he's also very. You know, we've talked about Bobcat. Yeah, times, he's a good dude, he's man. Good he got dude. me into. Uh, he's responsible for getting me into a, a certain alt alt rock, like the Replacements. Oh, really? You guys ever heard of love the yeah. Replacements? Yeah. Well, yeah. it's him. It, that, he's got some old headshot where he's he's got uh, he's wearing a replacement shirt. And I didn't know what that was. And then I found it was a band. I'm like, these guys are great. And then I just went down some weird rabbit hole, got into the Pixies because of the replacements, because of Bobcat. You know, yeah, yeah. it's like, it's all because of him. He got me into some really good music. He's a good dude too. I worked with him a bunch of times. So you've worked with a lot of people. Is there anybody that you haven't worked with that you would really, you know, like to? I mean, you know, obviously you're not going out on the road. You're not the road dog anymore, but... I mean, you know, because we, we just keep throwing out random names. You're like, oh, yeah, I worked with that person. I worked with that person. I was like, fuck, I didn't realize you had worked with so many different people of all levels of yeah. you know, caliber. You know, it's weird. Like, there's there's no names that I wish I worked with. Like, you guys wouldn't know them. Um, yeah. Uh, shit. You, you might remember McGaggy. I think his name's Dwayne Perkins. Mm -hmm. I've heard But I name. think there's two Dwayne Perkins. Or, or, <laughs> but I'm not sure. 
<laughs> I wanted to work with the first one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the guy I'm thinking about, number one, but like, like, but, but he was one, like one of these guys. Like when I was working the road, he was always there. Like the week before, or he, next week, Dwayne Perkins is gonna be oh. here, and um, I'm it's like that for years. I'm like, man, I, I, I don't even know if this guy's funny, but I want to work with him. Like he, everywhere I go, everyone loves him, and he's funny. And um, and I finally got to work with him in L.A. We were just happened to be on this um, random night show in a theater, and. Uh, God damn, he was so funny, but I told him that. I'm like, you don't know me, but I've just been wanting to work with you forever. And, he, and that was weird. He was like, what? <laughs> no, no, I go Stalker. out on the road. And <laughs> once when I start dro dropping some road names, he's like, oh, okay, all right. You know, but that, but like people like that, um, uh, big did you, names. Did you work with Favorito? Oh, yeah, I worked with Vinny. That's what I thought. Yeah, God, he was so funny. Oh, man, that dude is great. That guy, that guy had like such a talent of, he had like, five minutes of material but the yeah. crowd work was like he would do crowd work but not just hacky dumb crowd. no so smart and really funny and bring it all back and yep. and like with this crowd work build stories from different pockets of the crowd yep. and then at the end just it all like crescendo and like how do you do that what yeah, the yeah, fuck? He'd, he'd hammer on three people all in one joke at the end and, and just bring it all together bring dude, it all back just fantastic and just just destroy and like it, it was never it's kind of like Medicine Hat. It was like never the same show, but, yeah, you know. Yeah. Colleen got me tickets when he was in Vegas. Oh, yeah. And we were down there, and we got At all the fucked Hard up Rock, and, right? Wasn't he doing? Uh, th no, I don't think it was the Hard I don't remember what it was, but we got all fucked up and ended up not going. Vinny <laughs> Baby. Yeah. He had like, yeah, that real. Yeah. That, from Boston. Yeah. He had a little bit of a sassy. Yeah. We sassy went, queen. We went down. Bit. We took him to uh, Harris or whatever the hell it was, and played blackjack and we're walking out he did good and <laughs> we're in the elevator with this dude at me gooey and him and he looks at the guy there's some dude standing next to us just some rando dude and he's like what'd they say when you left because they said coloring up 800 when i left <laughs> i'm like dude you're gonna get fucking robbed what's wrong with you and yeah, he was a good dude yeah he, he was a gambler yeah yeah uh he's the reason why we knew Brian's name was nickname growing up was oh, Gooey. That's right. He's the whole reason. Oh, really? That's yes, it's right. Vinny Favorito. He asked, I think, Gooey's sister Laura or something or or a family member, tell me something about Brian. I want to know something, something dirty. Like, well, his <laughs> nickname was Gooey. Gooey, and that was it. Yeah. <laughs> gooey. Yeah. He was Gooey from then on. And it hot was dog it. Neck. Gooey. Yeah. Hot dog <laughs> neck. Fat neck. Yeah. <laughs> I always thought I always thought Gooey looked like one of those Campbell's soup kids, and he's not attractive. Did Brian you, Shields is not him, attractive. Did you talk to him tonight? Sean? Yeah, I did. Did you? Yeah, he still looks the same. Still top heavy. <laughs> uh, uh, nowhere near as attractive as he thinks he is, and he's got like lots of pie behind him. Stories that I know it. Pie. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Literal pie. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. um, Brian's. Wait, are we going to go into that? We, yeah. Well, yeah oh, why not? Well, go ahead. His, was it? Bringer of truth. Ex-girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. CQ named what her pie. Her Cindy. Cindy. That's, yeah. yeah. So, so she was Cindy pie. It was Cindy pie, but no it was pie. It came from, but it was pie. <laughs> it was pie. Yeah, I have no idea. You're going to bring pie on out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you come out and leave pie at home? When uh, Medicine Hat would uh, ask the people's names, and uh, anybody would ever uh, say the name, and he he would go, "Oh, is that spelled J I L L?" Oh my god, that was the <laughs> best fucking thing ever. What? Don't you? Oh, remember? you don't know that story? Okay, so pasty. You remember the door guy, uh, pasty gangster? Um, well, anyway, the, so yeah. we're at the Green Onion. Is that one his night. name or description? No, 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 no. He oh. he was he worked with Savoy. Okay. Uh, god, Jared. Oh, oh my God! No, I mean, yes, he was fucking Jared. Joey from Friends. Yeah, he was. That's right, Jared. <laughs> so, we're at Green Onion on a Sunday night. He'll after, never listen to this. Go ahead. Show. No, he won't. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Uh, so we're at, at the Green Onion. It was, I think, it was a Saturday night actually. And we're all sitting in the corner. We're drinking, having a good time. He's like, "Man, I, I hooked up with that chick at the bar, and she was she was hot." And I, I never called her back though. He goes, I, I, "I'd like to hook up with her again." You know, what the hell am I going to do? And he walks over. He goes, "I don't remember her name though." So he walks over and, you know, we see him talking to her and he comes back all deflated and 
well, what happened, Jared? Well, I said, yeah, hey, baby, what's going on? Blah, 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 blah. Oh. You know, I, I I don't remember how to spell your name. And she goes, J-I-L. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's short for something, You're right? right. <laughs> that was, that's oh hilarious. That's, and I use that. Oh, my God, yeah. that's so funny. Yeah. Especially him, yeah. the meathead. <laughs> it was, he like was, a really good. He, he was good, Joey from Friends. Yeah, he, really he was, was Joey from Friends. Absolutely. He worked out, had like always tanned 24, you know, all around the year, just tanned. Hey, baby. I don't, I don't hey. remember that part. Jay, I, I do. I have a pic. <laughs> I do weird. because we went. You got a picture of him? I do. I do. <laughs> next to the balls picture? No, it's right next to the balls picture. Um, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a, I have so many odd, oh, weird yeah. pictures that I, I can't really tell you why I have them, but like <laughs> your balls and Reuter's balls. Um, there's a picture of Jared and I with just our shirts off. Like we, like two guys went for a dip and here they are. They're in love. <laughs> it's so our hair's wet and our hands are, are it's very hot tub parties i i don't know <laughs> i don't know where we were what happened who took that picture why i have it but like you i look at his body and it's this nice sculpted was, thing yeah, well, he, and he then there's ripped. mine with my pasty tits and <laughs> weird hair nipple hair on my body third nipple third nipple with no hair that's where you need it covered yeah wow i forgot all about that dude yeah J I L. -L. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see, and Madison had told that story as it was. He told me that story and it happened to Gooey. Oh. No, it wasn't Gooey. Ah, it, was, see? it was Jared, yeah. But hat mixes people up all the time. <laughs> That's exactly what happens. I'm surprised it's like, yeah, I walked Jared. in and Gooey. Jared was blowing Jill with Gooey's dick. <laughs> what? Look <laughs> <laughs> at Hat. All the I code. need a picture to figure that thing out. I what, don't know what, what I just said. <laughs> yeah, I, I felt like I did a, one of Medicine Hat's bumps. I, I <laughs> blanked out. Why do you keep spitting on me? <laughs> I'm trying to. Good I Lord. tested positive earlier. I well, hey, for, at least Sean doesn't have purple lips. Oh, my God. <laughs> Charles Fleischer. Charles Fleischer. Uh, so years ago, we had Charles Fleischer here for one weekend, and he was a creepy Is that, dude. Uh, Fucking from Roger Rabbit? Yeah, yeah Roger did Rabbit. Did we have him at the old club, too? No, I, think I don't we, think so. Maybe, but I don't I, remember. I don't think so. He's a voice over Roger he has a, Rabbit? Yeah, he's a voice over Roger Rabbit. Roger and, Rabbit. And he was, but what I love him from, he was from Welcome Back, Cotter. He was oh, on that no show. Shit. Was he really? Yes. John, John Travolta? No. Oh. <laughs> he wasn't a sweat hog. He was like one of the oh. sweat hog rivals. And um, so I was like, really? Another one, like, like, you work with these people. You're like, wow, Charles Fleischer. Like, you just, you, I've made it. Well, and he used his, they used his picture to make uh, all the elves in the Polar Express because that had just came out. And he's like, oh, yeah, I, I, know these, I know the guy that did that. And then they scanned my face and they used my face for all of the elves in the movie. And I was like, okay, cool. I, like, I didn't have kids at the time. But now that I've seen it, I was like, oh, fuck, yeah, that does yeah. look like him. But he had this weird, like, spe like, his speech and his cadence was like a, so bizarre. Like a jazz, like a 60s jazz. Like a, yeah, yeah, like yeah. He, he, like he, he would say, uh, well, like he didn't like me. He didn't. He, for no. some reason, it want me driving him back to the, uh, the hotel. The hotel, yeah, because he's like, who, "Who's giving me a ride?" Back I had to a hotel? sip of wine, and he was like, uh, "I was like, I, I was, I literally was like, I just had this sip of wine, and I sat down. Glass is still pretty much it's full. mostly full, yeah." And he's like, "I can't, I can't have you taking me back to the condo, your purple tongue." <laughs> well, what? Yeah, he purple had this tongue. weird, like he spoke your jazz. Lip, your or lips something. and your purple. There, your yeah, lips and tongue are all purple. purple. I, I got I to have me a, Was it John Paul Morgan that was? Or what, yeah, no. he, yeah, but like, it was just this weird. weird. Well, and he would he would go up on stage and he would kind of do that the, the crowd work thing, but it was awkward and like he he was very intelligent and yeah. he would use that instead of just saying what do you do for a living, he'd be like what is it that yes. you do yeah. for the daytime to procure money to there is an family. occupation yeah. that you need to obtain to make physical money in this world. What would that be, my fellow sir? Yeah, and yeah. People were like what the fuck are you? What did he ask me? Yeah. Then you'd be like, what do you do for a living? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was odd, man. And that kind of, that was. Yeah, we, we called you Purple Lips, Purple Tongue purple for tongue. a long yeah, time. Yeah, Purple Tongue. <laughs> it was so stupid. That's what everybody heard. They saw that little interaction. <laughs> yeah. I don't like him. He's Purple Tongue. <laughs> He's Purple on his tongue. You sound like Mitch Hedberg. <laughs> I guess it, it is. It's it's John Paul Hedberg. John, John. <laughs> John Paul. <laughs> An escalator can never be broken. It can only become stairs. <laughs> I had to think of a Hedberg joke. I thought oh, of shit. something like that. Like I, I thought I think of Hedberg all the time. Like, like when uh, my uh, my electric toothbrush, it's very like the battery ran out. <laughs> 
It, now it's just a toothbrush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing uh, John Paul or Charles Fletcher <laughs> still. I don't know why. Uh, Hedberg is somebody I always wanted to work with. Yeah. He's a guy like. We had Josh Need on, and, and Josh Need was the, or Hedberg was the opener for his CD. Oh, he did the forward for it. Yeah. And, grill locations? Uh, that CD or? Uh, no, it was a shout out to my peeps. Okay. Oh, 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 I see. Oh, oh, Sneed's. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, Sneed's okay. album. Jo- uh, or, uh, Hedberg was like, you know, hey, you know, give it up for my very funny friend, uh, Josh Need. Yeah, he, he just sounded like or a good the, dude. And listen to the comedy stylings of Josh Need or something, something like that. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, but he, yeah, he's, he's somebody like famous that I, I wanted to work with. And man, when I heard that he died, I was with Warren at the time. We were just bummed really? out. Yeah. Yeah. Warren. Greg yeah. Warren. Work with Warren. You used to work with Warren a lot, yeah? Yeah. Well, we lived. We were roommates, Greg Warren and I. Oh, no, I didn't know that, well, too. Yeah. Yeah. That. yeah. Yeah. That man hates anything positive in life. <laughs> he doesn't like... We're <laughs> well, living Brian's in L.A. Did, did you have a room? I, I, I did not have a room, but okay. I, I bought the couch. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I moved from L.A. <laughs> I, moved, I just realized I moved from the comedy condo in here in Omaha, where I, the couch was mine for free, right into the Warren house. Where I had to now pay three fifty a month for that couch because <laughs> we lived with a bunch of other comics, and there was always a revolving door. Like uh, I don't know if you guys ever had Sean Rouse. Doesn't sound uh, familiar. That guy, look him up on YouTube, man. That guy was so funny. Um, like like Rouse was one of Attell's favorite comics. So that, oh really? That, that tells you something. And that yeah, yeah. like so it was just like this revolving door. Like oh, Rouse is in town this week. Uh, you know, uh, other comics from Houston that were that Warren only knew. Um, so if you were sleeping on the couch, where did they sleep? Uh, Warren had the, there was two bedroom upstairs. One guy, uh, you know, paid for his room. Warren had his room. I had the couch that was mine <laughs> and, uh, floors, huh. floors yeah. and sleeping bags. It was like a, it was like a flop house for comics. Sounds like it. And Warren hates anything positive. Like I would always like try to clean up a little bit and, make the house chipper because it's a bunch of dumb dudes, comic <laughs> dudes. And, like, I'd open up the windows and, like, Worm just come home and, like, no light. <laughs> Can't have any light. <laughs> he, he just doesn't like light. <laughs> Going through his dumb ears and his big block head. <laughs> can't have, these ears can't see light. Can it, God damn it, can it. Oh, another great dude. So funny. I love Warren, man. I, and I told you when uh, we came up with the kids and for Warren's kid show. Dude, he, that and, kid uh, show is so funny. He's so him, funny. Him and Sean. Sean, yeah. O'Brien. O'Brien, yeah, O'Brien, yeah. Man, yeah. They, They're great, they, man. They play so well They're together. so funny. But, like, that yeah. kid show, like, it's one of those. That show reminds me of, like, like Brian Regan's one of my. Brian Regan's one of my favorite comics of all time. He's somebody yeah. I'd love to work with. And that's a guy, like, he's G, pretty much G-rated. But it doesn't matter who's in that. Like, he, like, that was Bill Hicks's favorite comic was Brian Regan. Like, he's just so funny and, and clean. And, like, that's what. Warren's show, his kid's show, reminded him, like, man, this is really for anybody. Yeah. It's yeah. so fun. And he's so good at it. My son still talks about, he'll walk across and go, flu to flu, Greg. And yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, man. <laughs> yeah. Warren, he, there's nobody, man, Warren is so well, funny. And I was telling, I was working that kid's show, and I don't remember who I was telling, but I was like, I, was like, I fucking love working the show. Because... Great, because he's trying to keep it, you know, the cleaner or yes. the family friendly bits. Yeah. So he's pulling out some stuff that he hasn't done yes. for like, you know, the last couple of years. I'm like, yeah. oh man, I get to hear, you know, the Greg Warren classics that's been on CDs, yeah. and not done on stage, but I get to hear that now. And it's great because uh, they have to work a little harder. Yeah. You know? and, <laughs> yes, they do. And you know, like certain, 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 somebody's going to say something that the adults know. You can't go, you can't go on a tangent with that, you know. But which makes it fun because oh, yeah. then he gets yeah. to shoot the audience a look, and he's man, I, like how he reinvented himself with that kids show. I think it was just smart, but he's good at it too. Yeah, yeah. and have yeah. O'Brien, who's just as fu- oh my, he's God. not as funny as Warren, but uh, <laughs> I'll say it to his face. But he's good. He's <laughs> O'Brien's funny, and they're good together. Did you ever work? I don't think you did, but did you ever work Hats kids shows when he was trying to do those here? No, I didn't. Because because we did those for a oh while. It was like thir- he would call it did, thirteen was, and up. Yeah, did we that? have those at the old club? I remember Lewis? those shows, but I never worked. The kid, I don't remember the kids had. Oh, I, I we did have a couple of those, didn't we? Yeah. How did those go? Like, 
But they were they weren't was, bad. Yeah. It was fun. We, it, was, it was always that fun game of watching Hat and knowing the line he was going to say. He went for him to drop a fuck or a cunt or something yeah. like that. Yeah, because like, you know his it, real show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know the, the yeah. And yeah. there's and there's one story. Uh, <laughs> Craig Evans from Todd and Tyler. All right, right. Yeah. He uh, <laughs> uh, Hat was up there talking to someone and and he went into a bit where he forgot that he was at the doing the kids show because he started telling a, a joke and then he's talking about. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember the setup. But he's talking about is like shooting cocaine in your neck, and then he <gasps> falls, and then he's like, "Coca Cola." He's like, "Well, I'm in it already." He's like, oh. "He's like the hardest part's tying off." <laughs> and, uh, and me, a, oh. me and Craig Evans were the only ones laughing oh. in the whole room, where there's all these parents, all these kids are like, like, "What the?" <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> we want our money back. Yeah. You're not going to see that money no, ever. Not from him. Fuck you. Especially, well, especially since I think he got the door on that right, on yeah. that kid show, which is what, one of the reasons he really liked to do it. So, oh, my yeah. God. <laughs> now, how, yeah. Were you working the uh, night Ron White? It was New Year's Eve, and he told the same joke back to back. I might have. Oh, was it the was last so, time he was? I think so. It was Peter's and I. Peter's bought me a oh, red cowboy man. shirt, and he made me wear it. <laughs> I have a picture That's of it. It's right. like embroidery and shit. And I'm was, like, I'm not. He went. He went back to back, and the crowd just. It's like they just uh, kind of did this number and like what? The, and he was so fucking drunk. It was ridiculous. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, he's so funny. When we were playing uh, ping pong with gooey and pie, as a matter of fact, he was sweating scotch. Oh, my God. It was so bad. <laughs> sweating McCollin? Yeah. It was yeah. so bad. Sweating into a glass and drinking it again? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming back around. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Gross, Mark Gross and I play, uh, we play uh, Xbox together a lot. Nice. And we play to- uh, Rainbow Six. And, uh, and uh, anyway... Um, so, but we do things where uh, <laughs> I'll give, I'll, uh, my guy's got a problem. We'll talk about it in a second. Yeah, but I Gross and I play Xbox. Uh, we play Rainbow Six and we're on the same team. And we, 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 we just do bits all the time. Like, like, cause we, we know all the same people. Yeah. And uh, so like <laughs> Gross and I'll be like, you know, cause we're on a headset and we're like, okay, let's, we're going to, we have to kill these terrorists that are in like this other room. So we're like, uh, all right. I'm going to throw smoke in there and then, uh, and then we will have our, our masks on. We'll go in, you drop a grenade. I'll take the guy on the left. You take the guy on the right. So, uh, like we'll do, we'll plot and then we go in, but then we're like doing like a- after each death of, of people we're killing, we're doing like Ron white punchlines, <laughs> <laughs> like you're just standing over bodies shooting. They're already dead. We're just shooting them. It fell off. It fell <laughs> off. It fell the fuck off. <laughs> you know, just these dumb. <laughs> Like, you know, or like I snuck up behind a guy, or Crow snuck up behind a guy and like put his pistol to the guy's head. He goes, I got a place to fuck your sister. <laughs> <laughs> these dumb fucking punchlines, these violent punch, Ron White punchlines and playing these violent games. We just laugh so hard. Do you get to play much with Gross much anymore yeah, now that he's got yeah. that show? Yeah, he, he, like when, when he was at his busiest, we'd try to get in at least one night a week. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, now hmm. we're playing a couple of nights, but it's got that new show out on CBS. Yeah, yeah. What show is that? It's called How, How we, we Roll. Roll. With uh, hmm. Pete Holmes is in it. Yep. Um, uh, I auditioned for it. Um, you didn't even get in on. <laughs> Thank you. <Augie>. Why? 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 <laughs> I don't think that was so I funny. I, I, I don't know. I I, so you you know the showrunner. I you can't yeah, even yeah, fucking make the audition. Not only do I audition for it, but that Omaha, scene Nebraska. got cut too. <laughs> We don't even want the scene in there anymore. <laughs> even if it's somebody oh. different, we don't want to. Gannett wants that one? No. <laughs> fucking scene's out. Nope. <laughs> so can we go back to this whole, you're playing Xbox with somebody? and Gross bought me that. At, bro, Gross and uh, Steve Burr used to play. Steve Burr's another comic. And they used to play all the time. Well, they stopped playing, and Gross um, got whatever the new newest Xbox is. One Xbox One now, or whatever it is. Yeah. So he had this old like, Xbox, yeah. and he was like, "But it's brand, it's basically brand new. Here, I'm going to give it to you." And he lives five minutes away from me, so he brings it over, and he's like, uh, "We could play this game together. It'll be a lot of fun." So, so, uh, so you don't play so that, PlayStation with me? I, I still have I have both of them set up, I PlayStation mean, and my every Xbox. time I get on there, you're playing Star Wars from like seven years ago. 
It's a, it's a good game. Man. I didn't it's even a, know the servers were still up for yeah, yeah. Exactly. 2015. Yeah, I, it's exactly. there's still lobbies. People are still playing. And I'm unfortunately I'm playing Fortnite because I got an almost yeah. nine, nine year old son yeah. that yeah. loves it. So. No, you like playing? I, it. Actually, I don't mind it. It's, yeah, it's, I don't either. Bad. I don't. Yeah, it's fuck fun. you guys. Don't, don't, don't lead with. Oh, I play because my son. <laughs> don't throw your well, son under the bus. Well, I, you play it. I, I know what he's talking. I mean, when no, you, you first, don't. When, you like it, no, and your son happens to like it. You're like, no, this shit's fucking dumb. And then you start playing it, and it's, it's kind of like when we look at you. Sure, <laughs> I understand. It's the exact same thing. Yeah. But I don't Fun sit down and, and dumb. fucking I get it. dumb. Oh, no, he's all right. Yeah. yeah. We don't sit down and play it unless our sons are playing, though. Like, That's I don't true. fucking play it. Really? No, unless he's playing. I know you do. No. Yeah, you do. You still play You play that Wildlands game. I want to get it and play it with you. Yeah, like, that's what you said like four times. <laughs> seven years ago? Yeah. Ooh, let's get it. Oh, Brr. did you buy it for me? <laughs> yeah, that's, oh, how, that's hey, how he's playing Xbox. Hey, and somebody hey fucking bought it for him. What have you done for me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> if you get off your dead ass, <laughs> buy me a game. Hey, he's here now. You got two more days. <laughs> nah, I, uh, You're going to get it. People still do Xbox. Or, Battlefront. I love that game. The first Battlefront from 2015, the graphics, it's great. Like, they, it's everything about Star Wars I loved as a kid. Like, all the maps, Jabba's Palace. It's so cool. That's why I'm addicted. Like, and I got, uh, you know, I've been playing with the same <laughs> bunch of people since 2015. I remember when we were playing together and I shot you in the back of the head. I just kept unloading sure. on you. <laughs> yeah, that's always fun. Was that in the game or was that like that in the real, other room? Real life. He wants to do it in real life. <laughs> <laughs> the pellet gun. Unload on the back of his head? Yeah. <laughs> it had been a while. <laughs> it's good to see you, Sean. It's good yeah. to see all of you. It really is. Good to man. see you, Sean. It is, man. I, I, I forget, like, some of these stories, I'm like, oh my God, that's right. Like, Jared, I totally forgot about that dude. J I L L. That is so funny. I will not forget that story. That happens hey, a lot. Hey, baby, how do you spell your name? <laughs> J-I-L-L. <laughs> right, but it was spelled different then. Yeah. No, no, it wasn't. It's even good seeing Lewis back there, too. I haven't oh, seen him Lewis. in a while. Yeah. Lewis Taylor, the old... Dude. We had an episode with Lewis. You should go back and watch oh, it. Yeah, you... <laughs> yeah, did you guys talk really about good. how... how Lewis, he I did. I listened to it. I, I, I had I'm no idea go back you, you worked at the Playboy Club. No clue. No clue. Yeah. Don't give him a mic. We'll never fucking get him off. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, don't. We, we keep a mic away over. from him, please. Son of a bitch, where's my mic? We've been going for an hour 40, so <laughs> we'll be here for another oh, three. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it goes yeah. quick. So, you know? What? What? Oh, my God. Oh, he said God. it goes quick. I feel bad. I'm sitting over here and playing now, Tetris. Just drunk? No, I, I'm, just, I'm not drunk, dude. It's just one he's, block not he's, moving. He's, I'm, tweet, he's tweeting at Elon Musk. <laughs> no, I, I'm... <laughs> I'm actually doing work Buy for low. my day job. So high. Here. <laughs> Thanks, genius. <laughs> well, oh, shit. Should we get out of here? Yeah. I think Let so. everybody go to sleep. This fun. Oh, right. Thank God I got to pee. <laughs> this was fun, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to listen to It's a lot of fun. I, anytime you guys want me to come up here and. Uh, okay, we get it. That's, it. That's <laughs> enough. I, I'm, I'm happy you live in California. I am too. It's we so are we are looking for another door guy. Oh, oh no! Oh, I come can't on, do Dan. that. No, 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 no. He was come talking on. about the podcast. Yeah, just the podcast. I'm, you you I'm only good. have to work every three Saturdays. Oh. That's what Sean shift is, and then you can get on the rotation. That'll be once a month. Oh, kind of like how you work like, now. <laughs> really? I know. I know your family's got money, motherfucker. Don't talk to me like I don't know. Really. <laughs> When's the last Shit. time? <laughs> hey, look, I'm sucking off my wife's teeth. I know what I, shortcomings in life. I, I, Just I'm aware of all my stop. Not getting callbacks for everything. Stop. I'm glad she went to Creighton. That's all I'm saying. And Sarah Lawrence. Thanks. It was just really nice to audition, Mark. I appreciate it. <laughs> now, do you want me to tickle the balls? Or? <laughs> <laughs> this is fun, guys. Yeah. You got any commercials coming out anytime soon, Sean? No, Anything I, we can look forward to? Uh, no. I just auditioned for something on Monday before I came out. Ah. I can't talk about it because I had to sign an NDA. Gotcha. Nobody's um, going to listen to this, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, it's with... Um, <laughs> no, I didn't book it, though. But I, 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 couldn't, I can't even talk about it. But um, waiting, to hear, uh, waiting to hear about that. Yeah, you know, yeah. If I get a call back, hopefully. It's just so... I, there's no rhyme or reason to Hollywood and casting sometimes. I... Like I told this story earlier, like I, I auditioned for a subway commercial once and you know, you go in and you sign in the sheet and they had like, I'm looking at the, um, at the, uh, you guys lock up when you leave. 
Oh. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> Thanks, Freddy. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, I'm going to continue with the story. Fuck you. <laughs> and I signed in at the subway sheet at this audition. And uh, I'm like looking at the, 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 the script and like they have an artist rendition of like who they're looking for. And I, I'm not lying. It's like an exact character of me. And even what I was wearing that day, I, uh, it was weird. I'm wearing a, like a red, white checkered farm shirt. And Jared one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, like, a, like, a, like a John Deere hat. And like the guy has a long nose and an oval head. I'm like, it's like they took my headshot. And I'm like, we want this guy. I didn't get that. And they're like, <laughs> yeah, we decided to go with Danny Glover. I guess. <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't fucking know how Hollywood works. You had it was me on there. Like I'm that guy. Like you're looking. I don't get it. <laughs> I probably won't get this thing I got. You one day. could have followed it up with. I'm getting too old for this shit. I, 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 I was looking at your your well manicured nails for a biker. Hey. What Did you fuck? say Danny Glover or Crispin Glover? Crispin Glover. Yeah. <laughs> that was in my head too. <laughs> no, it was Danny Glover. Because the joke would be he's an older black man, and that's the opposite of me. But why are you looking at me like I fucking said it? Because you did. You're thinking about Crisp. That great line that Sean's just said. I was thinking about Crispin Glover. I was too. <laughs> Go jerk each other off and look at each other in the eye when you do it. Hey, why did why did Lewis throw keys at you? I don't. Is these. I didn't know Lewis had keys. I thought he had still still blown his vehicle to get it started. Whose keys are these? Just wow. I never get tired of that. That's fucked up. <laughs> Somehow there he is. He's in the back. <laughs> Creep hanging out in the back by the exit sign. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> it was weird. Like when the first time I saw, I, I never knew that's like I I never saw that installed in someone's car. It was in, in Lewis's Jeep, old Jeep, and I, I'm like, what? He even prefaced it. He's like, I, I got to do this with my car. I got to DUI. He was like starting this long story, and then he cut himself <laughs> short. And I got to blow into. This. I got a DUI, and this is how you start it now. But I just didn't think you had to like stroke the thing to blow into it. Like, <laughs> you didn't, but he was just. I did because it's, yeah. <laughs> You got to work the pipe to get the gravy. Oh, Jesus. That's what I've been told. Work the pipe to get the gravy? Oh, that's a horrible... Gravy is just a bad image for sperm. <laughs> gravy. Oh. I think that's a good spot to end. Yeah. Yeah. And on that it's note... Let's end on gravy. <laughs> and well, on nice baby. hot cup of gravy on your back. And, huh? on, the, and on the baby gravy. Oh, see? Baby gravy. Baby gravy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Sean, uh, it's good seeing you again, it's buddy. Great seeing you guys. Appreciate man. you doing Thanks this for having us. Me on, man. Appreciate you. Love time. seeing this fun. Dude. Yeah. Fucking. Uh, we, we hope, we're sorry for the surprise, but we hope you enjoyed it. I, 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 I just love coming on the corner. Here. Who's that voice? I know that. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's the voice that used to uh, shut the sound and lights off when I'd get on stage at the old club. <laughs> <laughs> used to do that. It used to be like flicking the lights. <laughs> But you know See, what? I told you, I, we had his light switch. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Uh, but actually, like, you guys made me stronger because, like, your mic and lights are cut out as a comic. All you have is your voice. <laughs> <laughs> and it better be funny. And I, I made it work. You, it's like an abusive father that, like, makes his son stronger, but that's not the aim of your we fucking... We named you Sue. Yeah, you named me Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Well, dude, all, all I got to say is when you come through town. Are you crying? Like, Why do you have water? There's My eyes water. Oh, it's not, <laughs> he was I, yeah, sleeping I'm crying. during I half of his pocket. He's really emotional. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. My eyes That's why we keep him on. Well, anyways, I was just going to say, when you come through town, it's like having family here. Yeah, man, it so. feels like it, man. This is fun. Like, I, I, I love it, man. I was looking forward to it. When Vinny, when Vinny texted me that one day and only day about this text, <laughs> this podcast. I gave you all the information in the one ghosted text. me everything else the about it. It's going to be tonight. Nothing. Dude, just. It's a nice surprise. Don't rely <laughs> on Vinny You're going to hang out after Davis. tonight. Why? Are we all going to go somewhere? Yeah, the podcast. Oh. I guess Davis wants to be done. Oh, I'm sorry, Davis. Am I getting in the way of your <laughs> rage against the machine? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a uh, uh, local band, Narcotic Self, did our intro and, and intro, outro. <laughs> sure. There, look at that. I hear Ganant's coming in Easter weekend, March 8th. I don't get a fucking text back till April 4th. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what the give fuck, me a call. man? Your follow up is awful. 
He yeah. also claims Follow he through. emailed Augie about doing it tomorrow I night. I did. So we'll see. <laughs> yeah, did. look, Augie's like, no, you didn't. <laughs> irresponsible podcast. Hey, hey, all I have to say is that at the end of the day, the guests are on the show. There you How go. How do you ever expect Liquid true. Death to sponsor you? I'm well, not. I'm not the sponsor. They're not because the he forgot to send an email to like, him I, asking. I can't. For I can't do it all. I can't get the guests, get the sponsor, run the video when half of the shit fucking broke this time. So if you're watching on YouTube and you're wondering why you're just staring at their ugly mugs the whole time, Ooh. and then that's why. I don't know that's, what the fuck's going on with this camera. I don't know the what money this laptop. right here. You tried to fix it. You were sweating yeah. real bad there. Fuck, for a minute. I was, and then I just said screw it, and I just put it on their dumb asses. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Man. Nobody loves that. Thanks for Thanks, having guys. Me. Appreciate it. Thanks for listening, everybody. Ha, ha, ha.